Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Hector Tsatsoulis. I'll be your host today for this uh, closing conference of uh, Adron 5 Census project. Uh, please note that uh, this uh, session will be recorded. So if you don't wish your image to be taken, please uh, keep your uh, video camera closed at all time. Um, also, if you feel uh, uncomfortable, ask us uh, to remove you from the uh, from the video if by mistake uh, you open it. Um, the video will be uh, edited at the end and will be used to promote the closing conference and the project uh, through our social media. Uh, thank you all for being here today. Uh, this is uh, probably the last stop before uh, uh, the end of this uh, project. Uh, I'm very happy to say that I was part from the very beginning, uh, almost the very beginning, to be honest. And uh, we have all worked a lot uh, through difficult times to bring about the results that we have achieved. Uh, these are significant. Uh, day by day, we see more and more the impact that we are creating. So I would like to say officially, we start uh, the, con the closing conference. Um, so this is the Adron 5 Senses, building the Adron brand name in tourism, indulging all five senses, closing conference. Uh, we have been uh, running this project for approximately three years now. Um, and we would like today to share the results and some of our experiences uh, with the rest of you. Of course, the times are difficult. Uh, ideally, we'll be in a large room uh, meeting everyone and uh, sharing our experiences, but we have to do it remotely to do the COVID crisis. But uh, I really hope that more and more people will be able to rewatch the recording and to make use of our results. Uh, thank you all for giving your time uh, being with us uh, digitally today. So um, a little bit of the agenda. Unfortunately, uh, due to the pandemic, uh, and a representative, official representative from the region of Peru was unable to join us. It was a last minute cancellation. Uh, some emergencies around the region. I have to tell you that Greece is still in a total lockdown. Uh, so things like that happen all the time, especially with officials that have to deal with a lot of emergencies at the point. Um, I would, uh, although I would like on behalf of the region of Piros, welcome you all and thank you for working on this project for all this time and thank you for attending uh, today's closing conference. Um, I would like to give the floor to a representative from uh, the Managing Authority Joint Secretariat. Uh, I think uh, Yelena College will be with us today. Yes, I'm here. Good yeah, morning. I saw you here. Good morning, Elena. How are you? Fine, thank you. And thank you for, for inviting us. Will you and, like, uh, do you yes. have a presentation or you will just give a mm. verbal? No? Perfect. No, it will be just a Perfect. short Perfect. short note. Yes, yes, I won't take much of your time. So just at the beginning, thank you on behalf of the Joint Secretariat and the Managing Authority for, for inviting us. And Yes, I'm Helena Quality Officer in, in the Joint Secretariat, and I was not with your project from the beginning, but in this final year of implementation, that was that was really challenging, especially for, for the tourism sector where the pandemic dramatically changed the situation, and it also affected the way we work and implementation of some activities that had to be reinvented and adopted to, to the circ new, new circumstances. And, uh, also, unfortunately, maybe the, the, the full impact of the project cannot cannot be measured in full right now. But of course, however, uh, this innovative approach of Edion Five Senses was recognized at the program level, and the project uh, was uh, recently presented at the third annual event. And also, it was uh, recognized by the Pillar 4 on the sustainable tourism of the Adriatic and Union macroregional strategy. And it is one of, uh, of labeled projects from the tourism sector by, by the macroregional strategy. And your project also contributed to the program capitalization through participation uh, in the cluster dedicated to sustainable tourism in natural and cultural tourism destinations. 
and also with other projects funded within the first call participating in this cluster you are finalizing now activities and outputs that, that will also be presented later and hopefully this cooperation that was established among the, the projects will continue also in the future. And when talking about the future, I would like just to, to tell you that the ADM program will continue also in the period 2021-2027. We will have one more participating country, North Macedonia, will be joining the, the program. And uh, tourism will not be the specific objective as it is the, the case now, but the funds will be available uh, through other specific objectives, uh, through specific objective on innovation and environment. So the tourism will be funded, funds will be available, only the focus will be changed. And I will stop here once again, thank you for for inviting us today and I'm looking forward to the presentation of the project and the synergies established during implementation in the Adrian program and the Adrian area. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Ms. College, for your uh, intervention and uh, your kind words for us. Uh, indeed, that was a very difficult time. Uh, unfortunately, you, you know, as well as we do, that uh, tourism was in hard uh, like um, probably no other sector and uh, which unfortunately limited the current impact of our results. Uh, but we think that uh, it also gave us some time to redesign some approaches. We will see some best practices that came out through the crisis. Uh, we will see new innovative models uh, on how we will manage what we have created. And um, Thank you also on behalf of the project to the uh, Managing Authority of the Joint Secretariat for recognizing our, our hard work and uh, the work of all partners. And yes, indeed, we had the opportunity to present during the Adrian uh, annual event and uh, also uh, the following capitalization event. We have also today with us uh, Mr. Jamal Lucas Costadinos, who is uh, the lead uh, the leader of the thematic cluster that we participate and he will have also some time later on to present uh, the cluster and we are very happy to have also four other Adrian projects uh, attending our conference and will pre pre present their own uh, not results because most of them are just now starting they're the second generation projects but uh, two of them are uh, closing one of them is a new one and one is in the middle. So we will have a mixture of experiences uh, to be shared with us. Uh, so I will move forward and start the presentation of the project. So uh, as an introduction, and then we will move on in the next uh, part, the next session, which will be uh, the presentation of the key outputs and uh, the lead of each work package will present uh, the key outcomes. So. Allow me to share this now. I think you should all be able to see the project presentation. Just nod. Someone from me the crowd. Too. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's so difficult with, with all the lights, you know, this stage is uh, so difficult. So thank you all again for coming to uh, this uh, closing conference. Some very uh, general information for those that uh, are uh, with us for the first time, but also a reminder for those who follow us for some time now. I see some of our um, some stakeholders attending the conference, and I have seen their presence uh, throughout this uh, the duration of this project, from physical activities to all the virtual ones that we have. And I would like to thank them for uh, their uh, participation and support. Uh, the project uh, was is funded under under the Interreg Adrian 2014-2020, uh, approximately one and a half million budget, and the total duration until now 36 months, plus uh, a little bit extra that we will get uh, courtesy of the managing authority just to finalize the, uh, some elements that we would like to improve. So probably we will be running for 40 months uh, in total. Uh, the consortium is consisted by nine partners. The region of Epirus is the lead partner. Uh, then from Greece, again, the development agency of Evia. From Italy, we have the Cipro development agency Ferrara. 
Uh, from Croatia, Zadar County Development Agency, Zadra Nova. From Slovenia, RDA, Northern Primorska, uh, Nova Gorica. From Bosnia Herzegovina, the Sharagi of Economic Region Development Agency. From Serbia, the Regional Agency for Economic Development of uh, Sumaria and uh, Pomaravi. From Albania, the Albanian Development Fund. And from Montenegro, the National Tourism Organization of Montenegro. I would like to thank all partners for working through these very difficult times. Uh, we had a lot of fun uh, in, uh, during this uh, project implementation, but the last year has been very, very challenging. I know that some of you uh, have even uh, now uh, some issues and health issues, but you're still with us. You're still supporting the implementation. Thank you very much for your uh, devotion to the project and uh, wish you all to get better fast and we have the opportunity to meet each other in a later stage. Uh, the main objective of the project is the overall is to build and promote the Adrian brand name in tourism by indulging all five senses of tourists. Having said that, uh, we all know that uh, everybody's talking about experience uh, tourism um, activities of uh, experience. We say that we go one step further. All these experiences are coming through the senses, and this is why we're giving this uh, heavy weight, let's say, to the five senses of a visitor. Uh, key topics that we have to deal with or we tried to address is sustainable tourism, innovative tourism products, a, a holistic approach to all five senses. We tried to implement sensory marketing strategies. Of course, we build on valorization of natural and cultural heritage. We promote innovative destination management. And of course, we try to propose a transnational solution to a transnational challenge. And at this moment, COVID seems an even better, uh, let's say, battlefield to promote transnational challenges opposed to national solutions and uh, regional uh, solutions. We need uh, to have a, a cross-sector approach, a cross-country approach, uh, a universal approach in these challenges. And the tourism sector uh, is the one that needs to collaborate even more in the coming years if we want to overcome uh, the economic crisis that created the health crisis. The main activities that we implemented was we established the other five senses transnational collaboration network. We're very proud for the network. We will get more details later on. We created a joint strategy and action plan for the Adrian region. Uh, this has all been a, a nice uh, participatory process and we're again very happy with the outcome. We created a brand, an Adrian brand, for, uh, to promote uh, the Adrian region as a unified tourism destination. We provided capacity building uh, activities for tourism professional and uh, destination management organizations. We created some pilot tools that promote sensory marketing and promote the region as a unified destination. And of course, just before the total worldwide lockdown, we managed to participate in international tourist fairs with quite good results. We will again hear more about that later on. Uh, the tools that we have created is the multilingual web GIS platform, which hosts a digital map of sensations with points of interest. The other five senses hub where both the network and the brand come and collaborate and the transnational network collaboration space, which is a dedicated space for the members of the network uh, that will have access to further tools, uh, documentation, uh, uh, digital library. And further on, we will also develop an, uh, a chat a chat room through social media. Uh, and uh, at this moment, we are also finalizing nine exhibition centers. The original idea was to have uh, physical and virtual. The balance changed. Now we're going more virtual due to the COVID. Uh, this is one of the activities that will roll out and finish in the next uh, couple of months. And uh, we are now also finalizing the follow-up plan, elements of which we are going to uh, see later from uh, all the representatives of the partners. So I would like to invite you to explore the map of sensations, discover, discover the Adrian Five Senses brand and join the transnational network. The platform is adrian5senses.eu. Uh, we created it uh, with a lot of care. It, it went through a lot of feedback and it's now fully operational and live with all elements working. Uh, we will present more details later on. Um, at this point, I would like to invite uh, 
my friend and colleague and a very good uh, colleague in do this uh, uh, project, um, Ms. Nika Cohen from Zadranova, leader of the work package T1, to give us her presentation on the joint strategy and action plan and the transnational uh, cooperation network. Nika, the floor is yours. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, Nika. Greetings Hello. from Zadar Commission. Thank you for this introduction. And thank you for the brief presentation of uh, Five Senses. Uh, please allow me now, uh, on behalf of uh, Adrian Five Senses project team here in Development Agency of Zadar County, Zadranova, to present you the Work Package One uh, strategy. I will share with you now my screen. Post disabled participants screen sharing. Hector. Give me one second for some Okay. <laughs> you sh should be able, but okay. Now you sh should be able to do it. Yep. Perfect. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> no problem. Thank you very much. Can you see the. Yes, you can see it. You can put it in. Uh, I am. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. So, according to the work package T1 named strategy, two main outputs, outputs were developed, a joint strategy and action plan and transnational cooperation network. The joint strategy and action plan, uh, plan <laughs> provides a long-term direction for the destination development, marketing and management. Uh, but also a short, medium and long term actions to achieve the destination's vision. All partners participated in the formulation of this, uh, this output and the de deliverable was finalized in May, in May 2019. First of all, in order to uh, develop the joint strategy, uh, all the partners and we had to uh, deliver outputs uh, from all the previous activities from the work package T1. And uh, we're talking about synthet synthetic diagnosis, good practice guide, benchmark analysis report, and stakeholder analysis that's from uh, work package communication. After all those deliverables, a regional strategic and action plan were developed and prepared by all partners for all uh, eight regions. And uh, 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 nine regions, excuse me, and those strategic and action plans were presented in regional conferences. Once again, nine of them were implemented and with, uh, with, with all the key stakeholders for each region. Based on their input, partners uh, prepared reports uh, that were used as, base, as basic documentation for joint strategy and action plan of Adrian region. The development of joint, joint strategy, furthermore, um, started with the development, first of all, of draft uh, joint strategy plan docu document that was uh, presented on April to all the partners and uh, they were asked for the comments to comment to the, this draft version of the document. Afterwards, the presentation of uh, draft strategy plan was presented in Ferrara in, during the partners meeting. And then uh, afterwards, a workshop, an all-day workshop, was, uh, was established in Ferrara as well with all the partners in order to revise the vision and strategic goals to be developed in the action plan of the final document. Um, the final strategy was then uh, elaborated, uh, including all the inputs and comments from all the partners uh, during this uh, workshop in Ferrara. And final version of strategy and action plan was uh, was developed by May 2019. Here are some pictures for that, uh, from that workshop and the partners meeting in Ferrara. Joint strategy as a document has several main elements uh, that I will just uh, shortly present it to you now. First of all, we have a situation analysis that's a summary for market research, competi competition analysis and trends per region, as well as the synthetic diagnosis. And it basically represents the analyst, uh, analysis of the destination uh, by, for each region. Furthermore, we have resource analysis, uh, which is an overview of key natural and cultural resources in each region, only the most significant, uh, both natural and cultural elements were represented. 
Furthermore, we have visitors analysis, which represent a brief analysis of the tourism in the region, the key characteristic for each region. Then analysis of services and attractions related to cultural and natural resources, uh, basically just the, the analysis of different tourist services and attractions related to cultural and natural resources, as well as the integrated tourist services and product attraction in each region. But here we really wanted to focus on the multisensory experience that the regions provide. Furthermore, we have the analysis of market and uh, competition, uh, which is a brief analysis of, uh, of market and competition, of course, for each region in the area of tourist products and services. Uh, then we move to the relevant strategies and policies related to the protection, valorization, interpretation, promotion and management of natural and cultural resources. We included as well in this joint strategy the global trends that can uh, that have been identified in uh, in the now now uh, these modern times of the tourism development, and uh, that could impact positively or negatively several regions. And we included them, we listed them, and proposed the uh, actions in order to follow those global trends. Stakeholder analysis was also included in joint strategy as very, very as a very important document. Uh, um, it, as it proposed the summary of the communication plan and it at least uh, lists all the key stakeholders in tourism that are most common for all regions. The vision for the Adrian region was um, concluded jointly with all the partners uh, based on the, that discussion with the project partners that was in a Ferrara meeting and um, workshop that we held in uh, 2019 in April. And the vision that we all agreed upon is that by 2025, Adrian region will become a destination of four season with clearly profiled product based on rich cultural and natural heritage that deliverable memorable, extraordinary experience and stimulate all five senses. Cooperation within and among regional partners through transnational network will create not only a system of immersive holistic experiences, but will also ensure joint sustainable management and sensory marketing with a clear added value for economic growth and new job opportunities in the Adrian region. Uh, the uh, region's vision is in line, of course, with the overall vision and common values of the Adrian Five Senses project, as well as the USAIR. Uh, strategic uh, strategy for the development of Adrian region. In order to attain that uh, to that vision, to to go, to go ahead towards it, uh, some strategic goals and measures had to be developed and integrated in this joint strategy and action plan in the section of uh, further planning. So this whole section includes a strategic framework composed of a set of strategic goals and measures and proposed activities uh, for further development and uh, uh, follow-up of the strategy. We have the strategic goal, it's four of them actually, uh, at the end. The strategic goal one uh, is uh, the main, uh, main activities to support capacity building efforts for key stakeholders and services providers in multi-sensory product planning, development and management. Three measures were uh, listed here in order to attain that, uh, to achieve that goal. Strategic goal two, um, a main uh, uh, object is to develop, innovate, holistic, multi-sensory tourism product based on cultural and natural heritage. Two measures were proposed uh, here uh, in order to achieve this goal. Strategic goal three uh, is to create a regional Adrian brand and implement innovative marketing approaches to ensure visibility of the region. The same, uh, some measures were enlisted here. And the fourth uh, strategic goal is to develop relevant infrastructure for sustainable tourism with its uh, measures in order to achieve that. Following the goals and measures, a joint action plan for the Adrian region was established and presented as, um, as it is. Uh, according to the, all the comments and all the vision from each region and uh, all the partners. Furthermore, uh, in order to finalize the work package T1, the establishment of Adrian Five Senses Transnational Cooperation Network was uh, mandatory and it's composed of policymakers, socioeconomic partners, tourism SMEs, civil society, and all the others. 
and at all levels, like local, regional, national, and transnational, whose aim is the effective collaboration, consultation, and commitment in all major outputs of this project. Uh, so the transnational network was then developed and implemented uh, to ensure the sustainability of this transnational network and fine uh, operations. A memorandum of agreement was uh, written and developed at, uh, that highlights the objectives and management arrangements of Admiral Park Census transnational network. Uh, it also explains general communication, information sharing and consultation process. Memorandum of Agreement is main document of this transnational network, has uh, several uh, uh, elements. It explains its purpose, uh, the overall goal, tools and methodology, uh, rules of membership, governance, dura duration and terms of understanding. Uh, the overall purpose of the memorandum is to also to disseminate further results of other on five cents projects, so it's, it, it, it's ins it ensures so stability and further development of this uh, of every out output that we have, especially the, the joint strategy that we made for Adrian region. And the goal is to improve uh, the understanding and knowledge of multi-sensory tourist product development, management and marketing. Uh, we develop as well uh, expression of interest, uh, a, a document that uh, expressed the interest to follow the, um, uh, the, the strategy that we, with all the elements and all the action plan that we have here. Uh, the idea is to, uh, that th this memorandum of agreement is signed by all partners and two key stakeholders per region, so 27 of, uh, of it. And by the end, for the moment, we are still collecting this documentation as the memorandum of agreement was uh, uh, renewed and uh, redone by the by the end of the uh, in the middle of this year. So uh, we have a whole new document and uh, waiting for some signatures in order to achieve the the good quality number in order to sustain and follow up everything that uh, has been done during this. Uh, outputs. That's it for me for this part. I'm available for all the questions and all the remarks. Uh, if you need, uh, if you need anything uh, for this um, strategy and action plan that I just presented, uh, stop share and uh, that's it. Thank you, Nika. Thank you for uh, sharing with us. Uh, um... And with the rest, well, we knew some of this, uh, hopefully all of it, but thank you for sharing with our guests uh, uh, what we have done and the work that has been done. Uh, I think the network is in a very good way right now. And uh, with the, let's say, official launching of the platform today, we open the process to a much easier way of registering since we will have the online registration for new network members, which will give them through the platform, which will give them direct access to our documents library. <laughs> So we expect not just to reach the goal, uh, the target uh, that we have set for membership, but uh, I think we will exceed it in the coming uh, weeks and months. And um, this, of course, uh, gives us the, um, the wheel and let's mm -hmm. say the tools to start working on a follow-up project of Father of Five Senses to start looking ahead mm -hmm. and how we can further use the tools and the structures that we have created and how, of course, uh, further uh, the collaboration, not just among the existing partners, but how to create a larger uh, stakeholder engagement processes that will uh, support uh, the tourist sector of the Adrian region. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, Thank stay you. around, please. Don't get out of, of the, course. <laughs> of course. Of course. Uh, we'll be again with you later on uh, to give us your uh, contribution on the follow-up plan. Follow plan. Yes, yes, of course, no problem. Thank you very much. For Thank you. Bye. Um, I would like now to invite my colleague, Melina Lazaropoulou. She will be representing the development agency of Evia, the partner number two, and she will present uh, the other five senses brand and with what we have done uh, in the past uh, years to develop it and its main philosophy and will give us a further, let's say, uh, trip uh, travel around the five senses uh, concept. Uh, Melina, the floor is your.
your mic. Uh, yes. Hello. Now we can yeah. see you and hear you. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Uh, first of all, hello, Hector. Uh, good morning, everybody. It's a great pleasure to, to be here today with all of you after so many years of collaboration. Actually, um, it's uh, more than four years for me personally uh, working on this project uh, since uh, I have visualized uh, and I'm very proud of it actually uh, this concept uh, of uh, the five senses the sensory marketing in the Adrian uh, area and uh, I remember again uh, the negotiations phases uh, with uh, the JES and the managing authority back in uh, 2016 and uh, it, uh, truly, I'm very, very proud of all the team, of all the partners and all participants, uh, even not uh, so visible, uh, meaning subcontractors and other uh, stakeholders and uh, up, uh, in general uh, entities beyond the partnership who contributed to the successful implementation of uh, this project. And um, to be honest, I'm uh, uh, double proud uh, because uh, we heard uh, our project officer comments uh, before at the beginning of this uh, conference uh, regarding uh, the um, uh, visibility and the recognition and the reputation of our project. Um, we are here to follow up and uh, continue the good work, all of us, and uh, eventually with uh, additional partners uh, from the Adrian area. So uh, my presentation today will be dedicated to the presentation of the brand. Uh, and um, I think that um, this is one of the major outputs that can be also sustained and uh, exp further exploited because um, I do believe, and you will see very soon that we have done a great job. Uh, it's a, a very fresh and modern and um, attractive uh, way to uh, increase the visibility of the Adriatic Ionian region. So I will not uh, take more time with this introduction. Let me share the presentation I have prepared with you. Okay, hopefully you can see. The, yes, yes. You can we see can, it. Okay, yes. perfect. Okay then, so um, having heard uh, our colleagues from um, the Zadar County, um, strategy was one of the most important parts, uh, uh, preparatory actions actually, uh, for the next uh, steps uh, in uh, the project implementation. In parallel to the joint strategy, we started uh, working on the brand. Um, Okay then, so uh, having uh, an overview on the area that uh, we, wish, uh, we wished at that time to include, we may see sorry, that Marina, it's if a... You can, sorry, if you can put it just in full screen just to have it even better for the recording. Yes, sure, very, just very a sorry. second. <laughs> yeah, sure, just a second, please. Dipla uh, Propososta, the best way. Okay then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the next one should be... Pretty okay, uh, the it's road. better now? No, it's the same, it's the same, sorry. Uh, just okay. the, the next one. Read mode, uh, try the read mode. Oh yes, the, the one in the bottom with the two arrows, yeah. Okay then. Perfect, thank you. Okay, sorry you're welcome. <laughs> okay then, so um, having, um, if you see this map, you may understand that we're talking about a quite uh, large and quite diverse area. Uh, at the same time, we share a lot of common characteristics, a lot of common attributes. Um, as you all know, or some of you at least uh, know for sure, uh, Adrian uh, is uh, uh, contributing uh, to a wide extent to the macro-regional strategy of this area, the well-known EU share. So the initial concept of our project was to contribute as well to the fourth pillar uh, uh, of EU serve sustainable tourism and especially in uh, some specific topics uh, dealing with uh, the di diversification of the tourism offer which uh, was at that time quite challenging for the whole area because of the lack of innovative and high quality tourism products and services and um, uh, the second topic that uh, we tried to address and contribute to it was sustainable and responsible tourism management um, 
which is a byproduct, let's say, of the differentiation and the di diversification of the tourism product uh, because of uh, the um, reduction of the seasonality and the increase of more sophisticated uh, thematic uh, tourism niches and uh, respectively uh, niche uh, segments of the tourism market. More intelligent, more uh, sophisticated tourists visiting the area uh, all year round and um, uh, ready and willing to uh, experience uh, new tourism uh, products and services. So, let's move on to a brief uh, overview of uh, what was happening and still happens at national level. Uh, you can see here that all countries involved in our project, and we are very happy that in our project we involve all Adrian countries, um, you can see the, here in this slide that each country has uh, uh, their own national tourism promotion strategy, national brand. You can see Italy, Greece, Montenegro, Bosnia Herzegovina, Albania, Croatia, Slovenia, and Serbia. Yes, of course, we are uh, different. We are um, separated countries. Sometimes we compete uh, each other, but still, we have a lot of uh, common attributes and a lot of common challenges. So this is what uh, we tried to achieve through this project and especially through the branding exercise. So uh, before I show you our uh, final proposal, I would like to underline that uh, and summarize actually what I said before, that the Adrian tourism destination is a multifaceted composite of many individual products and services. And thus, it's quite difficult to unify all these elements. However, the branding of uh, the Adrian destination as a whole is essential uh, because a brand insulates itself from the threat of competition by reducing substitutability. And um, this means that differentiation becomes the only way to survive. And here I would like to stress um, a well-known uh, saying that the battle for customers in tomorrow's destination marketplace will be fought not over price, but over hearts and mind. Please keep these two words because this is uh, the cornerstone, uh, the core of our brand uh, proposal. This is why, because what persuades tourists to visit one similar place over another is the emotional connection they feel towards this destination. And this is what a brand actually elicits, emotions and feelings about a the product. Therefore, our branding strategy through this uh, project uh, does indeed make sense for the Adrian destination in order to use and create desired emotional associations. Uh, this way, the destination brand will give visitors an assurance of quality experience reduce visitor search costs and offer a way for the destination to establish a unique selling proposition. And now let's go to the brand itself. This is it. One brand to rule them all. Uh, we will uh, go step by step in all the uh, features and attributes of this uh, brand in order to uh, present how we conceive, how we uh, came up with this uh, final uh, 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 logo. So here you can see um, the, the, the composition of the brand. Uh, the heart signalizes the unity. Uh, the red circle, uh, sorry, the yellow circle, uh, oh my god, the orange circle uh, represents the sun. Uh, the green um, uh, triangles signalize mountains and in general the landscape blue lines, the sea, uh, this abstract uh, symbol, uh, which can be drops or um, leaves or something else, signalizes the food and drink, and the arches, the blue arches, signalize the architecture. Uh, how we found out all these symbols and uh, concepts? Uh, this has been done through a very uh, thorough analysis of uh, what's happening right now with our destination, the Adriatic and Ionian region destination. So we went, we went through three different um, sectors of analysis, categories of analysis. The first one 
was uh, to analyze the gap between the image and the vision. This practically means who are the consumers, the customers of uh, the Adrian tourism product? What do they think today about the destination? First of all, if they consider Adrian as an integrated destination, what do they think about the competition? What do they expect from the destination? And so forth. In order to analyze this uh, gap, we performed uh, uh, both desk and field uh, research. The second uh, category of analysis, of gap analysis actually, regarded vision and culture. What are the messages we convey so far to consumers? And does the brand or any existing perception they have about the destination aspire stakeholders, tourism stakeholders and uh, beyond tourism? And do the stakeholders understand and agree with the brand vision? Again, here we performed desk and field research in order to uh, um, come up with uh, up-to-date and uh, concrete and uh, realistic results. And the last uh, category of analysis we performed was image and culture. This actually uh, is the, uh, uh, this slide you, can, you see here is the outcome of this uh, uh, gap analysis in order to uh, uh, declare our new image and uh, ap approve it and agree, to, agree upon it among various stakeholders. And this is actually the DNA of our brand. All these elements, all these elements and symbols uh, have uh, been uh, generated from all these uh, gap analysis uh, we have performed. So let's go on and see also some other features of our brand. Uh, we address all five senses and we have attributed a color per each sense. Orange uh, for uh, seeing, uh, blue for hearing, red for tasting, uh, light blue for touching and uh, green for smelling. You can see here the heart is the symbol, the word mark is Adrian five senses, a destination for all five senses. This is the tagline actually. All these form part of the brand along with the program funding logo, Adrian program. Uh, thanks to this program, we are here to present this brand. You can see here some versions. I will not go into uh, much detail about all the applications uh, we uh, prepared. I will just show you some of them. So you can see here uh, the fonts we are using uh, per uh, each uh, part of the brand, the colors in uh, graphic terms, actually in Pantons and uh, other uh, versions of uh, coloring palettes. The color variations, monochrome actually here, and some further applications uh, that we have already developed, uh, not only designed, but also printed out and dispatched during several international events, uh, was uh, business cards um, with compliments, uh, cards, uh, letterheads. Here you may see some poster templates. All partners uh, exploited these uh, uh, designs and per prepared their own posters uh, that uh, were used in several occasions, as, as I mentioned before. Uh, again, we have uh, brochure covers. Um, you can see here a twofold and a threefold uh, brochure. And uh, in more detail, the twofold brochure here, the first side, the outer side, with uh, the map of uh, the area of our project and uh, again the brand and inside some basic information about our project and again elements of the brand. The threefold brochure here with a different uh, template actually. Here you may see some banners uh, we developed uh, especially for events. Um, two different uh, approaches, one with uh, text uh, and uh, brand only, the other one with uh, photo and shorter text. And uh, again, some postcards here uh, that uh, have been used as well in several uh, promotional uh, events. Uh, we developed also a folder. This is the outer part of it. And here is the inside, utilizing, of course, the colors of our brand. And that's it from my side.
uh, as I mentioned before, I'm very, very proud, proud uh, to be uh, here today and present this brand, which was the ultimate output in order to move to the next activities uh, that will be further presented by my colleagues. Again, I would like to thank, first of all, the program in the Regadrion uh, for this opportunity. And um, uh, I would like also to thank all partners for their excellent job and uh, collaboration spirit. And uh, last but not least, I would like to invite all other stakeholders who are not part of uh, the project uh, partnership uh, so far. Uh, and as Hector mentioned before, you may still uh, 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 visit our uh, web platform and become a member of our uh, network. And uh, of course, you may use uh, uh, the uh, brand uh, for your own tourism promotion purposes uh, in the future. And we promise that uh, what we will uh, try to do is uh, to expand this initiative uh, in the next programming period. Um, we are very happy that uh, there will be one more country in uh, the Andri Adrian uh, program, uh, North Macedonia, and we are very, very willing to start collaborating with them in order to integrate uh, them in our effort as a follow-up project or Adrian 5 Census 2, I don't know. That's all from me. Thank you very, very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Melina, for your uh, presentation. Uh, indeed, uh, we ha we're uh, giving a, another opportunity now with the extension, uh, with the expansion of the Adrian program to have new countries and uh, find new partners and uh, build on what we have created now. And uh, I think what we have done is quite important. I would like to personally thank you for your contribution in this project uh, from visualization to planning and uh, implement, implementing elements of it. Uh, it's been a big uh, <coughs> trip, a uh, long trip. Uh, 40 months is just the official uh, <laughs> duration, uh, uh, as you all know from uh, when you start thinking about a project until you finally close it, it, it extends more than uh, six years uh, in total. Um, and uh, this is why this project is uh, quite important. And I think this time also allowed us to mature as a project and as, as partners, because we've, we've gone through so many different waves of, uh, uh, of uh, let's say, uh, external uh, situations from the peak of, of tourism and travel to the absolute collapse during COVID. Uh, for, we went through the whole uh, transition from uh, physical experiences to virtual experiences and uh, all the new challenges that are coming. Um, the brand uh, will be something, it, will, it is a tool, but any tool uh, needs hearts and minds behind it uh, th that will uh, use it, that will uh, implement uh, and uh, valorize all its elements. And uh, I will now present you uh, some of the pilot activities that we have created. It will be an overview of our uh, WebGIS platform and some, uh, I will say, sneak preview of uh, our um, uh, of our exhibition centers because ma the majority of them are still underway due COVID. Too many restrictions. Strategy. We need to we need to, to change our strategy from physical to virtual. Uh, even the already planned virtual ones needed to be upgraded to uh, provide more information, respond to the current needs, uh, and of course the physical ones also needed to be a little bit adapted and. Uh, provide e easier access and focus more on delivering uh, the information than uh, uh, just uh, being another infrastructure. So um, <clears throat> the other five senses project was planning to and is implementing uh, 11 total actions, pilot actions. One is the WebJS uh, platform uh, incorporated within is the other five senses map of sensations and then the nine physical virtual exhibition centers, one uh, hosted by each of the project partners. Um, what is, uh, what I would like to share with you now to begin with is uh, the virtual platform, uh, the WebGIS platform. I will, uh, just because uh, 
I would like to give a live uh, demonstration, but uh, I'm just a little bit worried about the bandwidth. So I'm, I'm going to just show you the stills and then feel free to visit the www.adron5senses.eu website and you can scroll around yourself. So I'm just going to give you some uh, stills and extracts from it. Uh, this is uh, the landing page. You see the brand, uh, the sensory branding for Adron Tourism. If you scroll down, you'll see future locations uh, and event calendar, which right now is empty since no physical events are taking place. Unfortunately, last year was full with events. Hopefully we will be able to update it and have new things happening and proposing to you. Uh, what does the platform? It provides access to the brand hub. It provides access to the map of sensations and provides access to the other and five senses transnational cooperation network. These are the three main functions of our platform. Uh, the brand hub gives uh, the philosophy, explains the philosophy as we have uh, heard a little bit earlier by Melina. Uh, it gives uh, some uh, um, storyline behind uh, how we developed it. And of course it gives you access to a download uh, gallery where you can download all the templates, all the elements, uh, as we have said several times, these are free to use. Uh, you just have to agree with the whole concept. Uh, I wouldn't imagine someone using them without agreeing with the concept though, but uh, maybe it's just a formality, but uh, please feel free to use them. Uh, and uh, those of you who are professionals of the, of the tourism sector, you can of course use uh, the logos and everything in your existing materials and uh, then also lobby to your uh, regional authorities or local authorities who deal with tourism to also adopt officially uh, the brand and make the brand much uh, a larger community. Um, the map of sensations is uh, the actual tool that we use to promote uh, what we offer and here you can see uh, the, the opportunities that we have to further expand uh, the listings uh, because you will you can see there are some uh, smaller gaps and that we would like to add uh, like North Macedonia is there. Uh, we would like to have also references there and we would like to expand also the existing listings. Uh, the, the partners are uh, already doing that. We are going much further than the original goal of 50 listings per uh, region. So we will keep populating the platform in the coming months. Uh, you can see the filters that you can use. Uh, you select your uh, favorite, let's say, sense, and then the allocation filter just in the country level. We don't want to go to take you into too much detail and then lose other uh, opportunities. Here you can see how a, a, a post, uh, uh, how one point of interest is uh, displayed. Uh, there are pictures, so they can be uh, official web pages, uh, other media like YouTube videos, short descriptions. Uh, I, I want to Note that uh, the platform uh, soon will be fully available uh, in all eight languages. Uh, currently, is in English and piloted in Greek. And in uh, next week, probably will be in full all languages available. So by the end of the year, we will have a fully operational uh, uh, multi-language uh, uh, platform. Uh, currently, you can uh, reach the information of each uh, point of interest in all languages. I'm just talking about the menus. The menus will also become uh, translated and available in all languages, as well as it's, of course, uh, uh, the platform is accessible uh, with persons with uh, li um, limited visibility or other uh, uh, limitations that they may have accessing the web. So uh, it will be also certified uh, very, very soon uh, with this function. It's already there, the function is getting but now we're waiting for the certification. Uh, here you can see some other elements. If you choose uh, site and Epirus, so you will find uh, some uh, recommendations. Uh, here you see already Coast Bird Watching, Sarako Beats. Uh, what we have listed is not just uh, locations, sometimes might be experiences, sometimes might be uh, intangible heritage, like a recipe, a local recipe. Sometimes it can be a local business that offers something tied with the uh, uh, Hydro 5 Senses experience. Uh, the platform is open. Uh, you can uh, submit through the communication tab, uh, contact tab uh, to your uh, local um, uh, operator of the platform. You can submit uh, 
your idea or uh, your proposal for a, a new listing and they will uh, contact you to acquire more information and proceed with the listing. Um, here you can see how you can uh, explore uh, routes. Uh, you select, uh, we have created, these are curated routes, not automated. So these are curated routes uh, by all partners that provide specific uh, listings as a, and combine them as a route. So you can go through a uh, more holistic experience. Uh, appears a walk in nature, in the nature is for one example, it has uh, four, uh, I think five stops uh, through uh, nature uh, rich uh, locations around uh, the region of Epirus. The second, uh, the third very important element for us is the Adrofasis Transnational Cooperation Network um, element of the platform where you can uh, join the network. Uh, if you're already a member, you can log in the network. You can see the members, uh, the existing members, and then you can also uh, access the knowledge base where it's about the uh, strategies, other documents that uh, we need, we want to discuss, uh, other elements, uh, uh, invitations to uh, capacity building and uh, internal procedures of the network. Uh, to register is very, is very easy. Once you click the register, you see the join uh, under five sensors national network. You provide some of your basic information. At the end, there is an electronic version of the memorandum of agreement where you can just um, say I agree uh, and uh, you can download of course and uh, you can say just agree and uh, use it uh, and become an, a member of the network. Um, regarding the exhibition centers, uh, the nine pilot activities, as I said before, we have the physical and uh, the virtual editions. Um, I, I would just now present a mash <laughs> of what we have done. So this, uh, you can see here uh, on your uh, left, uh, a specific application that was created to access uh, this uh, virtual exhibition center. And uh, on your right, you can see an actual, a more physical uh, info center. I think this one is from uh, Zadar, if I remember correct. And uh, with uh, the full um, experience with a big screen, touch screen, uh, and all the COVID measures, of course, as you can see. <laughs> Uh, and uh, this is just one of the examples of the partners. Uh, here we have others. Um, this is one uh, addition of what uh, the region of Epirus has done. We will uh, further expand the the kiosk there once we have the lockdown uh, lifted because we had some limitations on how to establish the full scale of the exhibition center. But you can see we have operationally <laughs> the info, the actual info point, the brand elements, and some uh, limited uh, access to uh, exhibits uh, at the moment. Uh, once uh, the lockdown is lifted, more stakeholders will be able to support uh, the exhibition center and include uh, further include uh, new materials and information materials. <clears throat> so again, I invite you to explore the map of situations, discover the Five Senses brand and uh, join the transnational network. Now you can do it very easily through the web platform. And uh, if you think that you have a, a listing that you wish to, it is interesting and you wish to submit it just uh, through the contact option of the platform, um, contact your uh, local opera platform operator. Each one, it, there is uh, one or two in each country, depending on how many partners we have and they will uh, guide you on uh, what information we need or they will uh, do some research and see if it fits uh, in their overall philosophy. Um, thank you for um, uh, your attention in this uh, <coughs> session and uh, I would like to invite uh, Miss Anna Alegi, I think I saw her logging in yes she's here i'm here yes <laughs> hello anna how are you Thank good you morning good morning everybody um anna um on behalf of uh, cipro ferrara they were also leaders of the work packet c the communication she will uh, take us through the uh, the trip that we had in uh, participating international events just before the lockdowns i have to say yes. we were very lucky a few weeks <laughs> just before it, every place that we were living there was a lockdown I, and, no relation we didn't visit Juan I can assure you that but we visited every other place uh it was a 
really run with time. It was a very nice experience. I have to say, personal being attending all the events, it was a really nice experience. Um, uh, uh, the stakeholders, the, the tourist industry really showed an interest in us. Uh, I have to say, uh, if I'm not spoiling your presentation, but one very important element for me was that uh, we were in, mo in most of the events, we were the only European funded project there. And mm -hmm. only that element and that we were not selling anything, just giving for free the brand and uh, the strategy. It was a significant point of interest for uh, many people to come and ask and interact with us and get information and uh, try to learn more about what we did. It was, I think, uh, a breakthrough to an organized industry, but we, which has very specific roles. Who are the players who are attending this event? And I think we created a pretty standard for uh, new um, steps and new approaches. Uh, so I give you the floor, you can, and of course you will present the other events that we have done and the, I have to say in advance, an amazingly done audio book of Other Five Senses. Thank you very much for that. Uh, we will all have the opportunity to hear some uh, abstracts from that. Yes. So the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Thank you, Hector. Good morning, everybody. I share my screen. Okay. Yeah. Can you see? Can you yes. see my screen? You can see it if you can just put it in a full screen. Yes, I'm uh, trying. Okay. Perfect, thank you. Yes, as anticipated by Hector, I start with the first transnational conference that we organized in Ferrara, and it was the first um, meeting with the local and regional authorities of the Emilia Romagna region and uh, obviously the um, project uh, Adrian Five Senses uh, partner. And uh, the, this uh, first uh, meeting uh, was organized uh, with the uh, first part uh, where we analyzed uh, the destination management as a strategic approach for uh, tourism policies uh, and uh, some uh, good practices, uh, practices in the province of uh, Ferrara. And uh, then uh, also the um, uh, tourism strategies at the uh, transnational level have been uh, described. And then, uh, as anticipated uh, by Hector, we um, participated as uh, other Infersensis uh, project to three international tourism events. Uh, the um, uh, fair in uh, Athens, in uh, Milan, and the uh, feature in uh, Madrid. Uh, these uh, events uh, was, um, were the opportunity, opportunities for the Adrian Five Senses project to promote the Adrian Five Senses brand, uh, to disseminate the project uh, output, and obviously to create uh, synergies and network at the uh, uh, international uh, level. In uh, all of uh, uh, the three fairs, we have uh, a specific and uh, a, a single uh, stand for the Adrian uh, Five Senses uh, project. And uh, uh, you can uh, see in example the, the uh, stand for the uh, fair in uh, Athens, Athens. And uh, uh, during uh, the event, uh, the project staff provided information both on project and uh, Adrian uh, uh, brand. And, uh, and as this is the same approach also for the fair, the fairs in uh, Milan and uh, Madrid. All the partners or the project partners uh, uh, participated in uh, the different uh, fair and uh, at least three and four project partners uh, uh, were present uh, in uh, each uh, fair. And uh, in detail, uh, during the fair in Athens, but also in Madrid and Milan, we promote the brand by reaching out uh, to visit visitors and uh, providing them with the destination uh, brochure. And we invite the stakeholders to uh, prove and uh, use the web, web platform. And uh, we inform the visitors uh, on the Adrian micro destination through flyers or uh, video, for example. Uh, all 
all the fair was a great opportunity for uh, our project. Uh, the feedback uh, that we received uh, were, uh, were very uh, interesting and uh, positive. And uh, the map of sensation uh, uh, attracted uh, uh, significant interest. Uh, and uh, uh, all of us received uh, several requests uh, of new lists. As for the event in Madrid, uh, it was organized in uh, January and uh, the fair in Madrid is uh, a, a very important uh, event for the tourism issues and uh, you can see the stand that uh, was uh, um, a project stand so all the destinations uh, uh, have been promoted and uh, described. The same uh, uh, issues for the fair in Milan that uh, is uh, the most important uh, tourism event uh, in uh, Italy and uh, but uh, obviously uh, all uh, as all the other fair uh, they are visited by all uh, uh, all the world uh, regions so uh, this fair uh, was organized just uh, a few weeks uh, two or three weeks before the lockdown uh, in Italy and uh, during uh, the fair in Milan uh, several uh, tourism operators started to uh, speak about uh, the tourism crisis because uh, we uh, already uh, were uh, um, uh, anticipated by the people to the um, uh, crisis uh, in uh, China, so uh, sanitary crisis, so we uh, know what uh, uh, will happen also in uh, Europe. So uh, the event uh, was uh, um, uh, interesting, but also uh, several tourism operators in Milan uh, understood that uh, uh, the month uh, after February uh, would be uh, very uh, difficult for the tourism sector. This, uh, these are some pictures of our uh, stand, Adrian stand. Uh, during uh, the fair we have also the possibility with uh, the LT and uh, actor to uh, explain our uh, output, uh, our uh, uh, web platform during uh, a specific uh, speech uh, at the Vit Arena. We describe also our study visit in Italy, in Emilia uh, Romagna. And this is the moment of our speech. Yes, and then as for uh, the uh, last uh, communication uh, uh, activity, we realized uh, the uh, Adrian Five Senses uh, audiobook, uh, and uh, uh, this is a uh, um, uh, collection of uh, our destination. Our des destination has uh, been described through the five uh, senses, and uh, this is uh, the a list and the issues that we described and uh, I try to share with you the first minutes of our of our audiobook. Okay. Adrian Five Senses, building the Adrian brand. Only to be, uh, can you hear? The yes, audio? yes, 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 okay. yes, thank you. Perfect. And name in tourism, indulging all five senses. The Adrian area has high potential for further development of. Now it stopped for some reason. <laughs> 
you, I don't know if you minimize it, maybe. Your yeah. tourism model based on innovative, high quality tourism products and services. The project suggests an holistic approach to sight, hearing, smell, taste and touch to develop effective branding strategies and boost the performance of Adrian destinations by creating conditions to enhance tourist experiences. This integrated approach, based on sensory marketing, is new and innovative for the Adrian area. The overall objective is to build and promote the Adrian brand name in tourism by indulging all five senses of tourists. The specific objective is to direct the efforts of Adrian stakeholders to the sustainable planning of physical and virtual settings and the valorization and preservation of natural and cultural heritage, in which positive and memorable experiences are more likely to emerge, leading to positive outcomes, such as tourist loyalty. The project aims to use technology for the co-creation of enhanced destination experiences. The Adrian destination then has the opportunity to better address the multi-sensory nature of the tourist experience. The project Adrian Five Senses, building the Adrian brand name in tourism, indulging all five senses, is funded by the Adrian Transnational Cooperation Program 2014 to 2020, co-financed by the European Regional Development Funds and the instrument of pre-accession. The Adrian Five Senses Tour will start from the region of Epirus, the land of cheese, where you can also experience Lake Pamvotis in the island of Ioannina, and will go to Italy and Ferrara with an intense emotional experience that captivates your palate and soul. The tour continues hearing the sea organ in Zadar and smelling tamarisk, and then to Slovenia, where you can experience wine growing in the land on the sunny side of the Alps, and to Bosnia and Herzegovina's Sarajevo, visiting the city hall and the old bazaar. Following the path further, you will have the opportunity to taste Rakia brandy in Serbia, and then visit the Dragobia cave in Albania, and the Dumitor National Park in Montenegro. Greece, region of Epirus, the land of cheese. In recent years, a network of modern tourist infrastructure built on the warm, homely Epirote hospitality and its traditional flavors has managed to put a spotlight on the delicious local cuisine, a gastronomic experience based on the excellent top quality local produce. This is a great incentive for those who are searching for a different way to have a good time and relax. The fresh goat's milk produced in the region is the basis for a variety of excellent cheeses. You can start your tasting tour with the great quality and flavor of PDO, European Protected Destination of Origin, feta cheese, produced by leading manufacturers of dairy products as well as by small traditional cheesemakers. Metsovo holds a special place in the local history of cheesemaking. Young people from Metsovo, studying in Italy with the support of a grant initiative from Evangelos Averov, were responsible for the creation of the Metsovoni smoked cheese, a relative of provolone and Metsovela from Pastorella, which are available from the cheese factory of the Tozitsas Foundation and from the many traditional cheesemakers in Metsovo. You can also find it elsewhere at selected stores in Greece and overseas. Particularly spicy and flavorful are the yellow cheeses like Kefalotiri, made from goat's milk, and another speciality is the Metsovo Chevre, made with cracked black pepper and produced only in spring, an ideal accompaniment to Tsiporo. Recently, production of the Kashkaval Pindos cheese has begun again, made from sheep's milk mixed with goat's milk. It is a traditional product predominantly associated with the Vlak peoples in the Balkans. On the dining tables of Epirus, side by side with a perfectly cooked piece of meat or a vegetable pie, there is always a place for Galotiri, which is also a certified PDO product. It is a cream cheese with a yogurt-like texture, mixed with crumbled feta. It has a slightly sour but very refreshing taste. Also, try the spicy Vasilotiri, made with goat's milk, crumbled feta and mizithra, another soft white cheese. Uh, 
Anna, y... thank you. Oh, the, the senses, <laughs> the senses right now are emerging. And <laughs> these are uh, were the first five minutes of our audiobook, and uh, our uh, our audiobook uh, uh, described all our uh, destination in uh, forty minutes. So it's uh, a longer, but also a, a good uh, experience for to listen. Uh, the description uh, of our destination. That is true. It's a nice work, uh, and um, I've, I've had the opportunity to hear it all. It's uh, it's really taking you to a trip, a very nice sensory trip around uh, the destination. We have to say that um, each uh, region presents uh, two experiences based on two senses, so you have a really good uh, flavor, let's say, of uh, what you can <laughs> experience throughout uh, taking this. Uh, this trip, uh, it's a uh, it's a really nice work, and uh, we will upload it uh, uh, yes. by, very soon on our YouTube channel and share it to the social media, and it will be accessible for everyone to download it and hear it and use it if they want to. And uh, it's a, it's also I want to take a note. It's a, it, it's a nice uh, opportunity just to stay away from the video. You know, not to use your eyes all the time through that we are on a screen through, uh, especially during the quarantine and the lockdown. Uh, I think we had enough screens. I, we can just put it on the headphones or uh, on a speaker and just uh, relax and listen uh, and have a nice yes. uh, virtual trip and book our vacations for next year <laughs> through all yes. the regions. <laughs> yes, we studied it uh, as a real uh, virtual uh, tour in our destination. So we started with uh, Greece and then all uh, our region uh, till uh, Italy. So we can uh, really understand uh, also the uh, very typical and also the differences be be between our uh, regions, uh, but um, all uh, the important uh, issues that uh, we can promote uh, and uh, uh, share with uh, other uh, other regions, other uh, partners in the future. That is true. And if you listen to the whole uh, audiobook, you will find that there is always a reference from one country to another. A Greek guy who was inspired in Italy, someone from uh, one side that was inspired through vacation somewhere else. That you see that the history of these elements are are so uh, interconnected, and that yes. uh, it's it's really one one region, one unified region with so many common elements. Uh, even the names at some point you say, is this product, wh whose product is it? Uh, the name is the same everywhere. The recipe is a little bit changing, uh, but the experiences are exactly the same. And I think it, uh, where it comes from is the same. Um, thank you very much for this uh, small uh, preview. Um, thank you very much also for your presentation, uh, Anna. Thank you. Um, this presentation concludes uh, the first larger sessions of presenting uh, the, the key uh, outputs. And uh, now I would like to um, move to the next section, which is uh, some project insights. We, uh, with two short presentations, we will show you how this project uh, dealt with uh, capacity building activities in times of crisis. As you are all very well aware we are still in a uh, situ difficult situation where trainings were almost impossible to be done physically. Where we, when we were able to do it, we did it either much earlier or with uh, very uh, new ways invented. And uh, I invite uh, Milena Kuchuk, our colleague from Montenegro, from the National Tourism Organization of Montenegro. Uh, she will present the first part, a seminar study visit during uh, COVID-19. Milena, the floor is yours. Hello. Uh, hello, everybody. Um, I would like to say, first of all, that we are very glad to be part of this project. And I hope we contributed to it as it contributed to us, because now we have a new product to offer in Montenegro in, in whole Adrian region. So I will start with my presentation now, just a moment. Uh, so as uh, Hector introduced, uh, the topic of my presentation is a seminar and study visit during, uh, during COVID-19. 
uh, first of all, uh, I would like to say that uh, uh, there were like few times that we were trying to organize these activities, but we were not able because of this situation. So we had to postpone it for several times. Um, now um, I will say a few things about the seminar that we that we organized, and then I will explain how we organized it. Uh, so our seminar was part of uh, activity capacity building on Adrian Five Senses, and the um, aim of this activity was technical and management uh, capacity building of the staff, partners, and stakeholders, and raising the professional standards of uh, people who are en uh, engaged in uh, management, tourism, marketing, and uh, branding. So our seminar, uh, seminar was held on the 26th of June in Podgorica, and that was uh, maybe like 20 days after we had uh, uh, none of the cases of COVID because we, uh, for some time, we were a corona-free destination, but then, unfortunately, the situation has changed. Uh, this uh, seminar was uh, attended by representatives uh, of a local tourism organization, of uh, different institutions uh, from Montenegro, from hotels, travel agencies, tour operators, and uh, tour guides. Uh, our topics were uh, that were assigned uh, to us: uh, targeting and positioning, planning, promotion, and communication. Uh, but uh, as uh, from the questionnaire that we had for our stakeholders, we addressed few topics that our st stakeholders needed additional training. It was creation and marketing of new products, sustainable product development, and some digital marketing tools like sensory maps, other games, audio books, and so on. Uh, as in that time, COVID situation was very, uh, I can say, developed. Uh, uh, we paid attention to marketing in uh, marketing increases uh, situation, uh, COVID-19. Uh, so that was one of our topics on, uh, on the seminar. And in that time, uh, we, uh, we used uh, our uh, presenter, who is Professor Ilya Moric on the uh, University for Tourism and Hospitality in Montenegro. Uh, he, uh, he used uh, these priorities by uh, UNWTO uh, for tourism recovery. So as you can see here, uh, there are a few recommendations about, uh, about this. Uh, that is providing liquidity and protecting jobs that we all know that there are a lot of people especially from our sector who, who lost their jobs uh, then uh, recover confidence through safety and security uh, i must uh, say here as melina mentioned earlier that the brand will be led by the heart and the minds and that is what is gonna bring us to some destination i must say that this is some kind of new normal and uh, that in the next period uh, we don't know for how long but for sure people will seek for the safety and security in this nation. That will be, will be their top priority. Uh, then uh, third recommendation by uh, UNWTO is uh, collaboration in public-private sector. Uh, then opening borders with the responsibility, uh, harmonizing and coordinating of protocols and procedures, and um, uh, new technologies in, uh, in jobs, and innovation and sustainability as the new uh, normal. Uh, then uh, these are some photos from our seminar that you will, uh, where you can see that we had some uh, measures. It was still time that we did not have that many cases in Montenegro, uh, but still we kept some uh, distance. We had masks, we uh, disinfected our hands and so on. Uh, and then um, uh, these are, of course, things that uh, all of us need to, to keep in mind all the time during this pandemic and probably sometime after this all uh, finishes. Uh, and then uh, uh, as an uh, answer on all of this, uh, we uh, as the National Tourism Organization of Montenegro and uh, Montenegro as a country are awarded by the Safe Travel Stamp. Uh, which is um, which is awarded uh, we are awarded by uh, world uh, tourism and travel council uh, uh, that means that uh, that uh, we are uh, we are a country that has uh, public uh, that has uh, uh, health uh, and hygiene uh, protocols uh, that are in uh, align with the wttc uh, protocols uh, so uh, what does this stamp actually 
means it means uh, that uh, that uh, travelers uh, can recognize the situation and uh, companies around the world which have adopted the global standards and who are safe for the period. Uh, based on this, uh, we we can uh, we can award uh, this uh, stamp uh, further. So uh, uh, companies, I mean uh, hotels, tour operators, uh, and uh, other um, other uh, part of the tourism sector can uh, can ask from us uh, to to be. Uh, controlled uh, so that they can get uh, uh, the, to be reviewed so that they can get this stamp for using. At this moment, we have 33 users. Uh, as we started with this initiative maybe uh, two months ago or even less. Uh, and we have hotels, uh, private accommodation, tour operators. We have national airline uh, company, transfer companies. And, uh, and uh, much more. And uh, I must say that there are a lot of people who are very interested in this initiative because they also recognize that the tourists and also uh, and also business partners uh, will be uh, the one who, who will ask for uh, for safety at the first place. Uh, then um, I, I I'm very proud that we are one of the countries in the world that uh, that have this stamp. Uh, for using. Um, based on this, uh, uh, when we were planning uh, our study visit, which was uh, another capacity building uh, activity, uh, we uh, we chose the external expert uh, uh, who, who was also um, a user of safe travel stamp, which means that uh, their tours are safe for uh, participants, uh, participants because they uh, they implement all the measures uh, that are uh, that are uh, uh, that should be used in this situation. So our study visit uh, was held from 14 to 18 September 2020, and uh, it showed uh, three different regions in Montenegro. And uh, the aim was uh, to show innovative and integrated tourism product through the prism of all five senses that can be offered uh, offered to potential tourists. So uh, most of uh, our uh, participants, it was maybe six or seven, I'm not sure now, uh, but they were uh, tour operators. So it was very, uh, very useful for them because this was uh, uh, this was opportunity for them to to see uh, how uh, how one very good uh, tourist package, uh, package could be uh, made. So uh, I will I will show you some photos from the tour so that it could be uh, uh, better to understand for you and you can see what we uh, done. So uh, that uh, package was uh, far, uh, four, uh, four days, four nights and five days. So uh, the, the participants had the opportunity uh, to be by the Eco Catoon uh, on uh, Eco Resort uh, on our uh, mountain Bielasica, where they enjoyed with the sound of violin, uh, uh, sound of uh, guitar, sorry, on the mountain. And then they had opportunity for uh, horse riding. They had picnic uh, by the on the shore on the Biograd Lake, uh, which is a uh, part of the uh, National Park Biogradska Gora. Also, uh, they had opportunity to uh, to build the raft and then after building this raft they had opportunity to use it on the Skadar Lake which is also part of the uh, Skadar Lake uh, National Park. Uh, they enjoyed in a, in a bicycle, in a cycling, in hiking uh, and then uh, they also had opportunity uh, to be drawn by the uh, famous uh, cartoonist of Montenegro Darko Drlevic uh, and uh, as you can see all the time uh, they uh, they uh, had uh, masks on their face, and then um, another activity was uh, making uh, was soap making uh, of the olive uh, olive oil, uh, and uh, uh, during that time they also used uh, all the measures and distancing. Uh, so I must say uh, at the end that this is something that uh, that uh, we need to to do in the next period and uh, that we need to adjust but still i'm hoping the situation will get better soon thank you thank you very much uh, milena for your yeah. uh, presentation uh it was a very interesting experience i think 
for all of us and for you trying to organize uh, such a public and open events with uh, limitations, with regulations changing uh, ongoingly, because it's not just that there are new measures, but these are changing due to the very uh, active situation. Uh, one day you are a safe destination, by the next weekend you're in a lockdown and <laughs> you don't know how uh, really uh, even if the businesses will be open, if the professionals will be open to host uh, uh, region of Epirus, which is very close to the borders with Albania, uh, so it was it had the most uh, transnational, let's say, region. Uh, it, all the time, regulations were changing, guidelines. The borders were closed. The borders were open. It could happen just in in hours. Uh, measures were changing. So uh, being able to uh, organize and host any kind of event <laughs> during uh, this time. Um, it's a marvelous work and a very big task. Congratulations to you and the team uh, of the National Organization, Tourism Organization of Montenegro. And uh, thank you for sharing your uh, good practices. Uh, if I remember correct, there will also be a, a video uh, soon uh, ready from these experiences yes it will be ready soon but it's not ready yet it's not ready yet that's okay we we yeah. want people to wait for more from us so it's okay uh <laughs> when the video is ready uh, that will go in tomorrow also details on how the the, the approach this case study uh we will make it available uh milena thank you very much for your contribution you. and not just today the presentation but thank you very much uh, for your contribution in the project overall uh, the organization uh, took uh, lead when it had to and uh, contributed uh, significantly to the project uh, ex through experience, through contacts, through uh, its uh, contributions. So thank you very much for being uh, part of this uh, project. It was our pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I will continue now with, um, I will share with you uh, a second uh, approach. Uh, so we, what we did in Epiros, uh, when we had, uh, we faced the, the challenges of uh, how to organize our trainings and our events. So we decided uh, to go online because uh, we kept organizing events that we had to keep canceling. And uh, at some point uh, there was, uh, uh, we found out that there are several elements that we need to rethink. So. I will now say, uh, take you through the case study of uh, Region of Epirus training seminars going online, the creation of a MOOC. Um, the problem created by the COVID-19 was that uh, no physical training was uh, possible everywhere. Some regions were able to host an event, some others were not, but also there were several limitations. Uh, no current interest by the tourism stakeholders, of course, because when you have your business closing down, when you have uh, your uh, book getting your calendar, booking calendar getting empty because of the cancellations, probably the last uh, reaction that you need, the last thing that you need at the, at this moment is to go uh, go and uh, follow a kind of training and stuff. You need to be very uh, dedicated. You need to have uh, ensured the rest of your issues are resolved, and then you, of course, you look your. Uh, professional development, even if it offers you uh, uh, some kind of solution, but still uh, you have many, many priorities. And especially when, if you offer a um, uh, physical event, uh, there are so many other limitations like your time constraint, uh, how to get out of your home, probably if you're in lockdown and other things. So uh, again, we had the limited space capacity if through the current regulations. So even if it, an event was allowed, we will have to go with half or just 30% capacity. That meant that very few uh, end uh, um, beneficiaries will enjoy, will receive uh, some training. And uh, also, since this COVID situation has been running for almost a year now, the project time was limited and do, the project was running out of time. If we want to do a good job, if we want to be able to assess what we have done, uh, we needed to act. What we proposed was to create a MOOC, a massive uh, open online course, uh, where we focused was on digital marketing for the tourism industry. Uh, why a MOOC? The growth of MOOCs has been skyrocketing, as you can see, until 2019-18. Uh, and uh, you can see some headlines from current media, like the Fortune, uh, Yahoo Finance, how the market of MOOCs, not just the 
uh, the actual MOOCs created is skyrocketing right now, and it's the it will be the new way of training. Uh, Coursera, one of the largest uh, uh, platforms offering MOOCs, uh, is cre uh, is uh, being mentioned as retraining American workforce for a post-COVID economy. Massive online open courses, exponential growth during COVID pandemic. Uh, even governments took uh, that approach. Uh, for example, the Greek government created a digital academy for citizens and for professionals. So we think that this was uh, the right way going forward. The proposed solution that we created had a better quality content because when you have time to plan it and it's not just a live uh, delivery of a training, you can redo some parts, you can do further research, you can collect uh, questions from a from peers and from stakeholders and then make sure that you answer them within your course. Uh, you, you can use multiple media to show uh, and uh, explain what you're saying. You can uh, you provide time to the trainees to uh, absorb and rethink and, uh, uh, and then come back and continue the course. So you don't have just to give them an injection of eight hours training and uh, confuse them sometimes, but uh, you give them a self-paced um, method and a, a self-paced uh, uh, opportunity to study. Um, the MOOC that we have created is not just for one day, it's for 12 months will be available with my think extending it if the interest is there, but it will be, it is online already. It will be there for 12 months. So uh, we have, it's more, it's becoming more accessible. It's becoming accessible to people that were not able to go out of their uh, house or they don't have the time because uh, you can do it as self-paced as we said, but uh, you can also access it online. It doesn't uh, require a huge bandwidth. So with a normal home uh, uh, equipment, you can access it. And of course, because it, uh, it, it has several resources, you can, uh, you, you can choose how you're going to follow it. Um, the large, it, larger audience and almost unlimited capacity. You don't have, you're not restrained from a 20, 30 people room. Uh, anyone can uh, just follow the course. Um, we decided to offer a digital marketing for tourism sector because it's something that you can do it through during a lockdown. So digital marketing for the tourism sector was a good tool to get acquainted to if you're not already or the further develop your skills because you can use it right now. You can use it right now during the pandemic. You just need your computer. You can do it from your home. You don't have to be actually in the business. You don't have to travel. Uh, you can start implementing it and uh, let's say create the conditions for after the pandemic so your business will stay operational to begin with and will have the required results. We created uh, at least two hours, two hours plus let's say, of best spoke videos created specifically for this project. Uh, we used to utilize four hours of existing videos. So from, uh, from specialists, from specific topics, some of these videos uh, are uh, were already available uh, on the internet, but we collected them for you. And so you can access um, deep knowledge of uh, extreme specialists from uh, Google, from Microsoft, from other organizations that they give you uh, analysis of their tools. Uh, they give you a, a very good insight on how to use them. We created the four hours of self-paced uh, study materials. So there are articles you can study, there are study materials, uh, there, are referen there are references, open references on the internet. We collected again, significant amount of these uh, materials. Uh, eight quizzes to test your knowledge and how much you were paying attention. Uh, this does not affect an evaluation or your certificate, but just it's for you to see what, uh, how much you have understood uh, the, the topics. Uh, once you complete it, you are able to issue uh, and uh, to request the issue of a certificate of attendance. And uh, for now, it's available in Greek because that was the focus of the region of Epirus and to have a better um, access in the region. Of course, several of uh, the training materials are also in English. And uh, we plan in a later stage to create English subs for the Greek videos, uh, the videos that were bespoke created. And of course, the access is free. Uh, you just register to the uh, let's study.gr platform that hosts the, um, the course. It's a MOOC platform, a Greek MOOC platform. And you just register to the platform and uh, you're going directly to check out. You don't have to pay anything. You don't have to give your credit card or anything. You just uh, follow the course. 
Um, we created eight course units, uh, digital marketing essential, marketing funnel, digital uh, presence, search engine optimization, Google search and console, Google analytics, email marketing, search engine mar marketing, social media marketing, several topics to be covered. You, once you complete this course, you have, I would say, a very good knowledge of how to uh, do a, a digital marketing campaign for your uh, business in the tourism sector. Uh, several videos for each course, several external resources, uh, reading lists, etc. Um, this is just a link how uh, how it sends you to external resources. Uh, uh, the quizzes, quick quizzes to check how much you understood, the videos, uh, how they look, uh, introduction. Um, everything is linked. Uh, there is a, a link to our overall um, assessment system that we have uh, created for the training experiences. So every um, training activity that we implemented during this project, every partner, then we had a, a, the same questionnaire to assess uh, center elements. Uh, that is not just our uh, did, did you like the catering or stuff like that, but it has to do with how it fits your purpose, how it fits in your everyday life, uh, how, in your professional life, how much you can use the information that you took today from us, how much it affected your professional development. And of course, it met your criteria of a successful training. Uh, so the platform is connected with. Uh, the centralized, let's say, uh, form that we uh, um, we collect uh, data for uh, how how well these uh, training activities went, and we are now consolidating data from all partners in order to create a consolidated report and have further suggestions uh, for other projects and partners and whoever needs uh, to implement training activities for the tourism sector. Uh, this is uh, how the your electronic certificate uh, goes. Uh, it's issued uh, by the trainer, uh, Mr. Yoros uh, Psafas. He's uh, also a uh, founder of the Let's Study platform. Uh, and uh, through his, through his uh, specialty, he created this uh, course for us. Um, thank you much for your attention. Um, this was how we approached. You saw two different approaches. Uh, one had to do with how you implement physical uh, events during crisis. The second one was uh, how you do it uh, digitally. And uh, there was with these two ways of uh, uh, doing things. And now I would like to open the floor to questions uh, before we have a, a break. So if someone wants to note something uh i see melina sent uh raise her hand uh melina would you like uh to offer us some uh input yes sure now that uh, the presentation of the key outputs of the project has been finalized i would like uh, to uh, comment on uh, actually three aspects uh, very briefly the first one, because it was mentioned before that uh, we are preparing a follow-up plan, uh, as you may have seen from the key outputs, all of them are expandable, both vertically and horizontally. This practically means that uh, uh, the WebGIS platform can be, uh, let's say, enhanced with uh, different regions, uh, other countries, and so forth. Uh, so the, the map uh, and the sensations map and all this uh, uh, data we collect uh, can be indeed enriched and uh, ideally uh, embrace the whole Adrian area. Uh, both uh, uh, vertically, however, can, uh, it can be expanded, meaning that we can uh, include additional, more uh, uh, sophisticated services other than the capacity building and all the other stuff that we have already prepared. And this goes for all uh, key outputs, including uh, the capacity building effort. Uh, we can expand in uh, different topics, uh, other themes uh, that, that might be more uh, up to date uh, in a later stage and so forth. The brand, I presented it as well, so you can use it. It's free. Everything actually from this project is free and easily accessible. 
and uh, as I mentioned before, can be expanded in both dimensions. This was the first remark. The second remark is that um, um, all these outputs uh, consist of uh, a toolkit that can be transferred and replicated to other regions and other territories interested in uh, this uh, uh, intervention, in this uh, uh, project. So uh, I assume that uh, many partners, I saw also a question here how to, to get access to, to uh, the MOOC, Hector will uh, reply to that, but I mean that uh, a lot of interest might uh, be generated uh, not only after this uh, session and this event, but also later on. Um, so uh, it makes sense uh, for other stakeholders, other entities beyond the partnership uh, to be uh, informed first of all and secondly uh, be given all the necessary tools, especially the toolkit, uh, in order to replicate our models. The last remark I would like to uh, state is that um, before I mentioned that if I could be considered the mind, let's say, of uh, this project and the partners could be, let's say, the blood of uh, the body, um, or uh, uh, external factors like uh, the uh, funding from the Adrian program, I think that uh, we all uh, can consider Hector personally as the heart and soul of this project. And I'm very, very proud of him and I'm sure he, uh, he will continue the good work uh, uh, also for the future of this uh, project. Thanks a lot. I think we have to applaud you all. Congratulations. And uh, Thank you. although the project is not uh, still uh, finalized, uh, we have some uh, things left. And nevertheless, this is a closing conference and we have to appreciate your effort to coordinate a huge consortium, uh, um, a wide uh, part of external entities, and uh, to give your creative uh, and um, emotional as well uh, dimension in this uh, project. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much, Melina, for your uh, kind words. Uh, uh, it was a pleasure for me working with uh, all partners through uh, for this project. Uh, it was a lengthy pro uh, process, and uh, as I said earlier, we went through so many different status of mind from uh, creating the platform and being ready to launch uh, our brand. When when uh, this this time of the year, last year, we were. We have completed uh, we have completed the brand. We were uh, uh, the the uh, the platform was in pilot uh, mode, so it could be used. Uh, listings were there. Uh, we were just uh, changing some uh, minor elements. The first um, draft of the network was ready. Uh, we have already started participating uh, at the capitalization strategy. I think it was uh, some time this uh, this time of the year uh, last year uh, that we had this. Uh, the first uh, Adrian capitalization event uh, and we were all in the hype to share and start working with other projects and we were all ready to say okay now we go to the international events and we show the world what we have created and two months later on the situation started and everybody took a step back uh, it wasn't just a practical uh, you know the, the crisis is not just a practical crisis of no travels and lockdown of the tourism sector etc but it's also very heavy psychologically to everyone uh not knowing what is coming and one no, not to know what's happening uh, we were quite lucky that we had a team that came up quickly with solutions uh, we find wor uh, ways to move forward and we finalized what we wanted to do and we moved forward with uh, the project and we found solutions innovative solutions uh we found a way to to conclude and uh, create a, a, a well-structured project. And of course, um, one of the final uh, outcomes that will come is, um, which is under our publications, let's say, uh, uh, it, it will be uh, um, a, um, a roadmap of replication of what we did. So it will be a collection of our methodologies, our templates, our approaches, our challenges, of course, uh, so other projects can, uh, as Melina said, can uh, take advantage of that. This toolkit that we have, we will create, will finalize, not create, just now collecting all the uh, 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 all the tools. Um, what I want to say, uh, there is a question. The brand is open to be used by anyone. 
uh, it's a commercial business, it's a hotel, it's a national tourism organization, it's a regional authority. As long as you register at the network, you can, you feel you're free to use the brand, uh, refer to the website, the platform, um, ask from your uh, local operator through the contact form to include the, uh, to new, to, to new, um, these things, uh, Mr. Margarit is, is also now contributing to the, uh, Mr. Margarit is the general director of uh, the development agents of Avevi, one of the partners he's also responding because it's in Greek. That's why I'm explaining in the chat. Uh, the Hoteliers Association of Evia is a part of, uh, the network. So, uh, other five cents of network, but also individuals and individual businesses can uh, join and use uh, the outcomes of the project and the brand, of course. Um, now uh we are already here more than two hours uh, i will invite you to take uh we will have a 15 minutes break um bring your own coffee unfortunately i'm not able to send you coffee to everybody's home uh, so this uh, but uh, the good the good side is i'm not making the coffee so it will be something that you like you will enjoy um we will be around uh in between if someone needs oh sorry if not, someone needs uh, to have a uh, to have a question, but we will be back in 15 minutes with the uh, uh, rest of the sessions. In the next session, we will have a presentation by the partners about the follow-up plan, and then uh, we will move to the thematic cluster presentation by Mr. Jamalukas, and we will close with the contribution of other Adrian projects. We have four invited projects, very good friends and, collabor and collaborators, I'll say. We will work together in the future, and we will conclude our conference. Thank you very much for your attention. Be back in 15 minutes. Uh, feel free to stay in the chat and discuss with your peers. Thank you. I would like now to present the part of uh, the um, region of the peers uh, strategy um, one by one, the items. So regarding the joint strategy and action plan, uh, it will be incorporated in future tourism strategy. Now, uh, the current one is already in action, but for now, we, there will be, uh, elements will be implemented under current, current objectives, current running programs, current, uh, other pro uh, current projects. So elements like the brand or the use of the platform or some communication tools will be, uh, utilized, uh, immediately uh, as well as we will try, uh, they will try to, um, uh streamline some activities under uh, that will fit also under the joint strategy and action plan the transnational cooperation network uh, the regional peers will actively participate and uh, will uh, work for membership expansion as well as um we'll try to make it a formal network so we have further collaboration and, uh, with existing partners and uh, members regarding the other five senses brand uh, for now, it will be utilized under all activities and uh, will advocate and promote the universal use of the brand from uh, uh, oper operator, tourism operators of the region. And in the next uh, strategy, uh, it will be included as one of uh, the tools to be used. The web platform, of course, and the map of associations, there will be operational support, uh, new content creation, as well as population of the map of associations. Uh, region of Peters is one of the operators, so through the contact form of the platform, you can directly contact them and uh, promote and, and ask for a listing or suggest a listing and they will manage it. And the exhibition center, uh, which is currently underdeveloped, it's half developed now, uh, will receive, of course, operational support. It is fully automated, but still it will be utilized uh, and staffed during uh, times of um, high season and uh, high food traffic. And uh, the available information uh, will be uh, expanded, uh, for example, the existing uh, ICT system also provides access not just to the map of situations and our database, but also to the existing database of the tourism office uh, to, uh, of uh, Epirus and further applications will be incorporated all under the Adrian 5 census brand. Uh, this is uh, the, uh, the way that the region of Epirus is uh, going uh, forward. Uh, some steps are need to be clarified uh, and will be discussed and approved through the internal proper proce procedures but uh, the general outline is uh, this one and uh, i would like to 
I have the honor also to represent uh, partially the the development agency of Evia. So I will also like to present the, uh, the, their plan. Uh, just give me a minute to find the correct one. Uh, it's here. So the development agency of Evia, the follow-up plan. We have also representatives uh, participating uh, in the meeting now. Um, as we mentioned earlier, so the development agency of Evia's overall proposed strategies uh, to in collaboration, close collaboration with one of its uh, uh, shareholders, uh, the regional unit of Evia, a part of the region of Estrella, uh, will utilize and develop the tools, uh, the develop tools and strategies. The key outputs of the project will be utilized under, under existing projects, for example, smart heritage project. Uh, that is uh, uh, an Adrian project will be presented later, but it's uh, the lead partner is a development agency of Evia and it will be implemented by, by the development of, of uh, Evia. Uh, in uh, the breakdown of elements, the joint strategy and action plan is, is incorporated in their programming strategy. So how they approach and how they select projects in the future, uh, as well as elements will be incorporated in existing and, uh, and as I said, future projects. Existing projects is, for example, the smart heritage and uh, since uh, the development agency of Evia is also a partner in Tangram, uh, we will also advocate in uh, promoting some of the tools uh, there. Uh, the transnational regarding the transnational cooperation network, uh, the development agency of Evia will uh, work on the expansion of network through existing stakeholders and uh, its uh, shareholders as well as through the, its contacts. Uh, the brand will be utilized in project activities and advocation to be used by tourist bodies and professionals. Since the development agency of Evia is not a tourism or a organization itself, uh, it can only provide support to others. It will advocate and promote it further through other activities. And of course, it will use it for its own uh, projects. Again, the web platform, the map of associations, operational support and stakeholders engagement. Uh, we already received uh, questions on how to uh, participate, how to work, uh, how, how to include uh, uh, f further um, listings. So uh, through the contact form within the platform, new listings will be proposed to the officers of the development agency and they will incorporate if they fit the criteria. Uh, the criteria are always have to do with the tourism. It's uh, related with the region and it offers a sensory experience. And the exhibition center, which is now under development, uh, it will receive operational support throughout uh, its operations and uh, will uh, be supported with uh, new information uh, once available and will be incorporated in its offering. Um, that was from my part. Uh, I would like to uh, invite our colleagues from uh, CIPRO to also contribute to uh, give us their uh, yes the, the short uh, the uh, version of uh, what they're planning to do. <laughs> yes. Hello, Anna. Okay. So as for uh, the. Um, Joint strategy and action plan. Uh, we will uh, maintain an open dialogue with uh, our uh, local uh, uh, strategic uh, stakeholders, so public institution uh, and uh, tourist uh, operator. We will organize uh, also periodical meetings and uh, trainings uh, in order uh, to collect questions and uh, needs uh, in uh, uh, for the future after the crisis. And then as for the transnational uh, network, uh, more or less uh, the same. So we will organize uh, also meeting uh, um, also to involve uh, uh, other private uh, stakeholders that uh, could be interested in uh, participate to the tourism network. As for the sense, uh, Adrian Five Senses brand, um, we will uh, try to uh, capitalize the, the um, good practices implemented during uh, the Adrian Five Senses project and uh, uh, try to realize uh, other uh, study visit and uh, uh, tour in the province of Ferrara through the Five Senses approach. 
Uh, as for the multilingual platform and the map of sensation, we will evaluate a new point of attraction and new point of view. And as for the exhibition center, we are now developing uh, the virtual uh, exhibition center in uh, Ferrara and uh, we will uh, um, continue the promotion of uh, local point of interest in comparison with the municipality of Ferrara and also other uh, stakeholders, but uh, uh, also, uh, for example, journalists and uh, bloggers. And that's all for Ferrara and our uh, part. Uh, thank you very much, Anna, for your contribution. Uh, I would like also to clarify that uh, each partner suggested uh, a joint activities that uh, we will discuss uh, once we collect all the follow-up plans and we will also decide on uh, future steps. So we have uh, an ongoing conversation there. Uh, each region has their own, uh, each partner has their own um, follow-up plan, but we will also have a, com a joint one on how we will uh, take common steps forward. Thank you very much, Anna, for your contribution. Uh, I would like to in uh, invite uh, our friends from uh, Zadranova to <laughs> contribute with Nika, of course. Hello, Nika. Hey, hi. Hello again. Hello. Uh, I will share my screen and I just have a, a short uh, presentation. I did not present them by outputs, but only the, the, general, the general vision of uh, how we attend to to sustain and support uh, all the activities. So this is for Zadranova. I presented the activities of uh, overall support and uh, uh, guarantee for the sust sustainability of the project outputs. So the maintenance and continuation upgrade of the Adrian Five Senses web platform is the, the main tool where all the activi or our, our activities are visible in order to promote the Adrian region and sustain the new creative tools. Uh, expanded the transnational network with the uh, new stakeholders, with uh, uh, with uh, uh, other people, other networking uh, uh, experiences that we can have uh, in order to to continue to promote and to con continue to develop the similar things. Uh, promotion of uh, other and five senses uh, brands, uh, upgrade of the existing, and de develop new multisensory tourist offer. Now, I, I really have to, would like to say that um, uh, working on all of these um, uh, project deliverables and working with all these stakeholders in Zada region and furthermore, uh, the in, in, in enthusiastic reaction was really uh, presented all, all the time for this multisensory approach with all five senses and new ideas were coming up in each level of this uh, communication with stakeholders and uh, we integrated already the, some parts of our strategy that we developed through this project uh, in a new um, curriculum that is done for the uh, touristic uh, um, for the guides, touristic guides that are um, aiming to present the, local, the locality, the, um, the Zada region with all five senses, just to have that vision. So uh, we already have some results of uh, great interest of, uh, all, for, for all the outputs of this project. Uh, furthermore, we have the implementation of new multisensory tools and experiences in line with uh, what I mentioned before, strategic marketing and communication plan development and develop an en environmental sustainability plan that goes in line with, uh, with the exhibition center, with the web platform that we have and uh, all the other output outputs that we have during this project. Uh, that's all for me and sorry for not having the, the presentation, but by the um, uh, by the main outputs and of the project, but uh, the aim is still the same and uh, the vision uh, remains of um, further developing and uh, sharing all that we have done here. Uh, thank you very, very much, Nika. Of course, there is no problem at all. Uh, the format, the, the point is the outcome, <laughs> as you said. It's, exactly, exactly. It's not about how we present it, but how we implement it and uh, that we actually implement it. I think that's the end. Uh, Cool. Thank you very much again for uh, being part Thank of this you. Uh, project. Uh, we have a lot of discuss about future steps. 
you have been a valuable partner and a very good uh, work package leader. Uh, I would like to thank you again publicly for that. So thank you, thank you for all the guidance and all the uh, WhatsApp and Viber and uh, Skype uh, community brainstorming on how to do things and uh, what to do next. So it it was a really all partners participation. It was a great uh, example of uh, everybody that did um, the thing that was supposed to do and. Uh, they gave uh, output and uh, information so it was uh, it was a great great experience really was yeah, yeah, indeed indeed uh, i think it, it was it is it was it is and it will be a good partnership uh we didn't have any ghost partners or anything like that everybody was active uh when problem occurred were very practical issues that uh with no bad intentions and everybody was uh, doing their part uh, and beyond, I will say, under the circumstances. Thank you very much uh, again for your contribution. Thank I you. I would like to invite our friends from Slovenia, the RDA, for, uh, Nova Gorica, to give us their, um, to present us their follow up plan. Who will do it? Oh, can I see you? Hmm? Hello? <laughs> Why I cannot see? See you. Uh, she hello. is here, Gretchen. Ah, hello. <laughs> yeah, Gretchen, where are you? I cannot. Gretchen, she's here, but I cannot visually hear her and hear her. Gretchen, I can see you are online. You are connected, but. Okay, we'll give you two minutes and. Uh... Ah. Let's see. Hi. Hello. <laughs> hey, hello. How are you? Can you hear us correctly? Fine. Yeah. Victor. Yes. Can you hear us? Yes. Yes. Ah, I good. Hear you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. We, we couldn't see you and hear you for a moment. <laughs> no, no. It's not, okay. Yeah. Um, we have the problems now. We are Oh, now we cannot hear you again for some reason. The connections are not good. Okay. Hello, you can hear me? Yes, but uh, not all the time. Uh, I will close my camera for once just to make sure. Uh, um, okay. We can try. Okay, we can start and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, thank you. I am Chertomir Špacapan, Director of uh, Regional Development Agency of uh, Nova Gorica. Uh, hello to everybody in these uh, hard <laughs> moments we live, but uh, I think that uh, in uh, near future it will be all okay and also the tourism oh, it will be the same as it was uh, some months ago or some like year ago so we are prepared to start for the new uh, touristic season uh, maybe uh, in winter but uh, we don't know how it will be in this uh, few months but uh, we are sure that uh, next year it will be all okay so as you know um, the tourism is one of the most affected sectors uh, in this uh, pandemic. So we have uh, um, a lot of problems uh, in, in uh, also in our uh, country because uh, you know that uh, Slovenia uh, has uh, around 10% of uh, national uh, income of uh, uh, tourism. So it's uh, very important for us uh, how to proceed in these uh, hard times. So, uh, so um, we are prepared uh, for the post-COVID time. Uh, we are working straight. Uh, and, uh, we have contacts and dialogue with all local touristic stakeholders, uh, even all are not working now, but we establish uh, new exhibition center. We opened this exhibition center uh, for tourism uh, two months ago in the center of Nova Gorica. It's uh, very nice. So if uh, we continue with these projects, uh, we invite you to, to see. Now we are uh, 
preparing also um, the programs or the program for the next year. Uh, so uh, the problem are normally the small institutions and we have to encourage them in this uh, time. So also through the, these projects, uh, we have daily contacts with uh, our uh, touristic uh, uh, stakeholders. Uh, so we prepare also to organize more uh, trainings, uh, normally uh, via uh, internet now, and uh, support uh, the, the stakeholders. Uh, we are working also um, daily uh, with our uh, government because uh, you know that now we prepare the strategy for the new programming period uh, we have daily uh, skype uh, conferences with our ministry and we prepare a new platform for the tourism for the next year and for the next uh, period uh, five years period and uh, they said that uh, we have uh, disposal a lot of money not only for the uh, not only for the tourism but uh, normally also for other things but especially on tourism uh, we are um, prepared for uh, uh, trainings uh, ict systems uh, as you know that uh, um, many uh, many of these uh, operations in, in in tourism are now via ict uh, connections. Uh, so I think that uh, this uh, project, Adrian Five Senses, um, it's uh, very good uh, for us to uh, see how is the situation in the other countries, especially uh, in other our uh, partners. So I am uh, convinced that uh, we have to proceed with this and to try to uh, maintain this, our partnership also for the next project. Uh, thank you very much for, uh, for your uh, contribution. It's good to know that uh, you're also working on future plans and future projects. And of course, we will be working together well, if I'm not uh, wrong, we're already partners in, uh, in other projects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we continue working we continue together. Work. <laughs> uh, the, the Adrian world is very small. We will keep working together under different uh, taglines, but for the yeah. same purpose, always tourism and uh, sustainable valorization of culture and uh, nature. Uh, thank you very much for being also a good partner with us and uh, for all your contribution and your uh, Support uh, uh, was a very evident your role also during the international uh, uh, exhibitions. Uh, you were there every day with us. Uh, you no, supported. No, no. <laughs> it was a nice event. It was nice times when we could still meet in Milano. <laughs> I remember, <laughs> it was good times. Uh, well, looking forward for the next time. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So. Uh, I invite now our friend, uh, well, I think it will be Farouk from uh, Sarajevo Economic uh, Regional Development Agency. Uh, Victor, hello, everybody. Do you hello, hear me? Farouk. Yes, I can hear you, Farouk. Yes, I will close okay. my camera so you have all oh. the internet okay. cords. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I, I don't have camera right now, so I will you, you will just hear me, not to see. Uh, just, uh, I will shortly present you the, 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 uh, the uh, activities which we have implemented, what we are uh, planning to do uh, further with with uh, 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 within the project. Sorry, do you see my my uh, screen? Yes, yes, we can see your screen. If you just put uh, in full screen, uh, okay. so we can full see screen. it properly. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay, okay. I will just pass through the main activities and uh, give you the overview. Of what was done and what uh, what we are planning further to do uh, within these uh, activities. First of all, as you know, we have done the joint strategy and uh, action plan for the Sarajevo macro region. Uh, we have uh, engaged the external expert to design uh, joint strategy and action plan for our region. 
uh, it was uh, done, as you know, according to uh, terms of reference, which we uh, get from our lead partner for this activity. Uh, this uh, this uh, joint strategy and action plan is actually, uh, let's say, continuous, uh, CERDA continuously uh, trying to improve the conditions in tourism sector. Uh, as you know, in Bosnia and Herzegovina, tourism becoming more and more important. We have uh, more and more visitors in uh, each year in, in Sarajevo, of course, except this uh, 2020 uh, year. Uh, and uh, Serda is trying to, together with the government to Sarajevo Canton to establish uh, uh, something like a, a reform of touristic sector. Uh, this action plan is, let's say, one, one of the actions which uh, totally uh, are involved, totally uh, include in, in this our uh, main, main activities, let's say, in our everyday activities. For that, uh, our joint strategy um, done, let's say, the, the analyze of touristic sector and gave overview of the problems with which uh, uh, our touristic sector are facing. So uh, this uh, action plan and the joint strategy was presented here in Sarajevo to our main stakeholders, representatives of the canton, of the municipalities, uh, touristic operators. Uh, and uh, 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 and uh, to to and it was it was a, a conclusion that uh, Serda because Serda is regional development agency can uh, do a lot uh, through through its actions because we are always looking for the new projects uh, trying to involve uh, these uh, these uh, actions in in new projects and to overcome all these. Uh, obstacles which are showing uh, in in our touristic uh, touristic sector. Uh, mainly, uh, joint strategy shows that uh, our touristic sector is facing with uh, problems regarding uh, legislation, also regarding the uh, continuous education and uh, improvement of the uh, touristic infrastructure and uh, establishment of the standards in. Uh, uh, touristic, uh, providing uh, the touristic services. Main focus of uh, uh, our, our strategy and main uh, focus of our tourism sector uh, is on the rural tourism. And, and uh, within this, we are trying to implement these, these uh, actions. Also, uh, regarding the image culture, uh, vision culture gap analyze, uh, we have done, and it was presented in Zadra, uh, in Zad on Zadar meeting. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, Serda also within, within uh, its uh, regular uh, activities have established center for education and training for different uh, professions. One of these professions are also the touristic workers, and we are trying uh, with the touristic uh, community of uh, Sarajevo uh, Canton to uh, provide uh, to uh, touristic pro uh, service providers the education for different uh, professionals. Also, we include the educations which uh, are developed within the project of the Adrian uh, Five Sense. We will continue to to provide these educations uh, continuously in further further time. Uh, also within the project, we have done the promotion here in Sarajevo, not only on, on external uh, uh, events, but also here in Sarajevo. Uh, since we have established the uh, relationship with uh, the touristic community of Sarajevo Canton, last year we um, actually, I was present the uh, uh, Adrian Five Senses project. Uh, uh, mainly the participants of this fair was the students, uh, was the representative of, of touristic uh, associations and agencies. Uh, where, and and uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the project Adrian Five Sense, principles of uh, project Adrian Five Senses are very interesting for especially for our touristic uh, 
operators because it's uh, it's something new it's something what uh, is based on our senses and uh, 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 they are uh, they are very glad to to uh, let's say explore this new way of promotion of touristic uh, destinations also this year in uh, uh, regard to the world uh, day of tourism uh, I also present the project Adrian Five Sense. Uh, also, the uh, aim was uh, to formalize the relationship between Serda and touristic uh, organization of Sarajevo Canton regarding establishment of the uh, uh, exhibition center. Uh, that's my uh, yes. That's my next slide. Uh, uh, actually, we signed the contracts, we signed memorandum of, of understanding and contracts regarding the establishment of the uh, exhibition center. We they have uh, done the uh, we have done a, a, a procurement of the equipment for this uh, uh, for exhibition center. It will be placed in uh, within the uh, touristic center of uh, touristic community of Sarajevo Canton. Uh, also, what is necessary to be done is to finalize uh, establishment of uh, of the uh, of the exhibition center. Uh, as I said, the the project Adrian Five Sense is very interesting uh, for Serda, for Sarajevo region, uh, because tourism is uh, very important for for us, and uh, this is not the uh, this is not the only project which we are implementing in uh, in a tourism tourist sec tourism sector so uh but uh, what what is uh, most important is that all the results which we get from uh adrian five uh sense uh project will be uh further promoted and implemented within other uh, projects or within uh, other uh, bilateral uh, activities because we often have also the request from our uh, from uh, Sarajevo Canton that we implement uh, some educations for a different kind of uh, of uh, administrations and and uh, to to simply raise the awareness of the especially uh, uh, administration in local communities about the importance to support uh, the the households which are working uh, in in uh, tur tourist tourism sector. That's that's just shortly from my side. Of course, there is there was a lot of communication with uh, our stakeholders, with our municipalities. Uh, also, the the whole project was uh, uh, presented to our assembly of Serda, uh, and uh, they are regularly informed about the activities through our uh, uh, reports. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, Farouk, for your contribution. And again, uh, I take this opportunity to thank you for your participation in this project and your uh, collaboration. Uh, one more uh, good partner that we wish to work again in the future okay. together. Yeah. And we will have, I think, opportunities for follow-ups. Thank you. Thank uh, you. I would like now to invite our uh, Partners from Serbia, the Regional Agency for Economic Development of Sumadi and uh, Pumaravi. One day I will manage to pronounce it correctly. Uh, I, I'm very, very sorry every time. <laughs> Marika, uh, the floor is yours to present us your follow up plan. <laughs> hello, hello, everyone. Thank you. So, hello, everyone from uh, Central Serbia, from uh, Regional Economic Development Agency for Sumadi and Pumaravi. <laughs> So, as a regional development uh, agency, I will present you our, uh, from our perspective as a, a non-tourist operator, but a regional development uh, organization, what uh, activities we already incor incorporated in our uh, plans and strategies. So, from the practical point of view, just a moment for me to to share my screen I apologize now for this delay 
But anyway, while it's uh, starting up, I uh, wish to say uh, one of our main impressions and, and uh, uh, good result of this project is that uh, innovation and digitalization came to, to the point at, at this uh, challenging time uh, of, of pandemic uh, uh, challenges and obstacles. Uh, so our result of the project seem to, to be very uh, useful and, and perfect now uh, to answer to the challenges in, in tourism and economic uh, growth and, and recovery uh, in general. Uh, so Redas always pursues to, to apply innovation, digitalization, investment, opportunity, support and human resource development. And this project and results uh, have uh, contributed to that to a great extent. So I will present now, uh, as all other uh, partners, our sustainability plan uh, uh, for the main outputs in this structure. So let's start with the sustainability plan for the joint strategy and action plan. As I said, we already have a um, Incorporate, incorporated some of the planned activities in our strategies and in our annual plans. So, um, uh, referring to the first strategic goal of our uh, joint strategy to support capacity building efforts to the key stakeholders, uh, we have planned activities uh, such as uh, setting up a help desk to support SME in tourism and, and support services to develop their small scale investment projects. Mm, of course, with, with a, a focus on multi-sensory marketing approach and multi-sensory uh, product development. Uh, we are also uh, planning a series of trainings in digital marketing, applying the same five senses um, approach. Uh, referring to our a second a strategic goal of the joint strategy to develop innovative, holistic, multi-sensory tourism products. Uh, we are planning to develop a, a regional marketing plan and marketing mix for selected tourist products. Se selected uh, means those that are uh, at, a, at a stage of uh, close to, to uh, implementation and placing on, on the market and applying the marketing plan through uh, destination management organization uh, activities. Uh, these activities that I'm talking about uh, are a result of a uh, fund search and, and, and um, uh, applying for a project. So we uh, uh, hope that in the next two years we'll, we'll have actually we will have uh, funds through uh, an international uh, fund to implement these activities. As referring to the third strategic goal, to create a regional adjunct brand and implement innovative marketing approaches to ensure visibility of the region. Uh, we are attending in all our uh, activities to incorporate defined adjunct brand and symbols into regional branding and marketing. Uh, so, uh, uh, actually, our, our exhibition center that we established through this project is a virtual one, and we're uh, so happy to, to actually choose the virtual one, and I'm happy to hear that uh, more and more partners are actually deciding to switch from a physical to virtual because it shows to be more than needed and practic practical and innovative now in, in the challenging time for the tourism and, and the economy. So, uh, so far, we have um, integrated all the other than five senses brand uh, uh, designs and, and uh, core of it into uh, the design of our virtual exhibition uh, center, uh, which is uh, coming to life in the next couple of days. We have small delays just because the Google Maps didn't work properly in the past couple of weeks due to some uh, uh, higher level uh, requirements for the internet and an international legal frame. Uh, regarding uh, the 
fourth uh, strategic goal of our joint strategy to, de to develop relevant infrastructure for sustainable tourism and to support the development of uh, ICT and other infrastructure means to promote hydrogen destination. We are uh, planning to uh, some activities such as creating the catalog of investment opportunities in tourism to be presented to pot potential investors and relevant authorities. Uh, besides our virtual virtual exhibition center uh, is uh, contributing to, to a realization of this strategic goal of our uh, joint strategy and we will be operating it with our internal resources updating with information input and innovative and interactive uh, promotion promotion not only of our region but promoting uh, uh, the whole Adrian uh, uh, region and our partner regions. Uh, regarding the sustainability plan for the Adrian Five Senses Transnational Network, uh, so far we have uh, motivated four key tourist organizations to join uh, the, the um, platform. Uh, those are the ones with the best uh, uh, available resources who will participate and transfer experience to other partner organizations. Unfortunately, many of our tourist organizations, the local ones are small and, and don't have sufficient human and technical resources to, to participate in, in transnational platforms. But uh, there is uh, uh, definitely a very good cooperation and communication among the partner uh, tourist organizations so uh, we will coordinate and make sure that lots of experience is transferred from uh, the network to our smaller uh, resource um, partners and stakeholders. Uh, the four, uh, the four uh, partners who are joining the platform are members of other networks, of course, so they will disseminate their, their experiences. Uh, regarding the sustainability plan for the Atrium Five Senses grant, uh, one of the priorities of the tourism development strategy for Shumadi and Pomeravia referred to territory branding and positioning the destination as a broader uh, international uh, market. So, uh, uh, through uh, such activities, we will support our uh, destination to present it at a, a broader market and at the same time, we will create opportunities for our partner regions to, to have broader market as well through mutual uh, presentation and promotion of products of the each partner Adrian region. And uh, this is our, uh, our suggestions for the joint follow-up activities. And we would like to emphasize the need for a joint marketing strategy and action plan, uh, which uh, means to design and develop uh, uh, Adrian um, integrated tourist products and create appropriate marketing mix for each of the products, do the, the detailed market segmentation so that we can plan our marketing and pro promotional activities referring to specific target groups of visitors and of course to expand and continue with producing attractive promotional material and digital marketing which appears to be more than uh, appropriate in these challenging uh, times for tourism and, and business. So that's it for me so far. Thank you very much uh, for your presentation and contribution, and uh, not only, only today, but uh, your contribution to the project. I would like to thank uh, to, to say thanks also to your colleagues and uh, the team of uh, Redasp for uh, being uh, an active member of this consortium, and you have uh, always been uh, with us in uh, events in. Uh, research and studies and uh, whatever we did uh, you were there in time to respond and correspond with us and thank you very much for being part of the project and looking forward to our next joint uh, partnership and collaboration <laughs> thank you looking forward to it too thanks
So now we move forward. Uh, we're sorry, a little bit uh, behind just a minute, uh, but these things happened. I think it's okay. I know digital time, it's even worse. Um, I would like to invite uh, our friends from the Albanian Development Fund to uh, contribute to our discussion by presenting their own um, uh, th their own uh, follow up plan. Hello, Hector. Hello. Can you hear me? It's yes. me, Andre. Hello, Andre. Well, sorry, Andre, you're from another project. What are yeah, you doing I know. here? I know. <laughs> I'll discuss on that too. Yeah, okay. But, well, if uh, you wish, you can yeah. do also the Smart Heritage presentation. And that will be... <laughs> Since we are still in, C in C1. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so the floor is yours, Andre. Thank you very much for joining us. <laughs> Thank you, Hector. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Andre Teta, and I'll be representing the Albanian Development Fund on behalf of the project manager, Emi Daultai. Uh, since she can present due to some technical difficulties she is having right now. Um, anyway, uh, I think I won't be needing the whole five minutes, and I'll be short. And I'll be I'll be saying a few words about our institutional follow-up plan for the Adrian Five Senses project. Um, in the framework of work package demonstration, there are identified a number of touristic destinations in Albania, in the Alps region of Albania, part of the map of sensations. Uh, as part of follow-up plan, is it, is, it is intended to include as much as possible the local touristic uh, operators to be part of the Adrian brand in tourism and offer a thorough and all-inclusive experience for the visitors. Uh, we also aim uh, for the Adrian brand to be widely promoted also at international levels through the platform Map of Senses and the virtual exposition center which is currently being implemented on, uh, on our front. Uh, uh, we aim to further develop this model and replicate it in other regions of Albania by promoting the cultural and natural heritage through multi-sensory experiences that create an unforgettable experience. Um, in this regard, I want to also present another project for, that the Albanian Development Fund is currently managing, uh, again, from the Adrian program, uh, from the second call for standard projects. It's the Adrilink project, which could further capitalize on Adrian Five Senses project results. Uh, uh, the Adrilink project aims to promote landscape tourism in Adriatic region through the creation of network of landscape interpretation centers conceived as nodal points of selected thematic paths and routes digitally connected through an ICT platform, ensuring the integrated management of tourist services, fostering innovative solutions. This project uh, provides new models of sustainable tourism management aimed at reducing tourism seasonality through the valorization of natural and cultural landscapes as common assets that can be visited throughout the year. Uh, in this regard, we have chosen to implement this project in the Balbona uh, na uh, Abele National Park in Albania, which is geographically located in the, Ar in the heart of the Albanian Alps and will further promote the tourism offer in this uh, region. Um, another idea it, we have been discussing internally is uh, to merge the synergies also with the smart heritage projects, which actor uh, <laughs> will present it to you shortly. And um, basically that's all on from me. Uh, I want to give the floor back to actor. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much, uh, Andrew, for your uh, guest appearance in our project. <laughs> uh, although we had this, uh, uh, the two projects, Smart Heritage uh, and uh, Adrian Five Senses, had already synergies in the past. We have a joint uh, memorandum. Uh, Adrian Five Senses was present in the opening uh, uh, steering committee, uh, the kickoff meeting of the Smart Heritage project. and. Uh, we were also happy to host the Smart Heritage Project in a uh, in couple of our uh, stands during the international exhibitions. Uh, so yes, it's good that to have common uh, partners in some projects because then you can see the added value of uh, partnership. Uh, we try to develop that even further. Uh, more projects are, um, especially from the second uh, 
call uh, have a co joint partners, common partners, and uh, through the cluster that uh, soon we presented, we had uh, even more opportunities for collaboration. I would like to close this uh, part with the presentation of the National Tourism of Organization of Montenegro uh, to give us their uh, uh, their follow up plan. Uh, Milena, the floor is yours. Uh, thank you, Hector. Uh, I will share the screen. Uh, so I will keep it short, just a moment. Okay, uh, so uh, the most important thing about this project is that uh, this is a, a strategy and action plan are aligned with the uh, strategy plan of uh, tourism of Montenegro. So it is in align with, the, with the, our uh, accent on uh, rural tourism on uh, cultural uh, marine and health tourism. So uh, we will connect it uh, through all these kinds of uh, tourism. Uh, also, uh, as uh, the main uh, activity of uh, National Tourism Organization of Montenegro is the uh, promotion of tourist product, uh, we will uh, promote Adrian Five Senses brand through all our uh, marketing and promotion uh, uh, activities. Uh, so, what that means um, in uh, action? Uh, so, we will do a promotion of Adrian 5 sets, Senses brand uh, with the multi sensory product on our tourism fairs that we will participate. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this year there were a lot of uh, fairs that uh, were postponed or uh, cancelled, but in the future, uh, we will definitely uh, do so. We have some uh, online uh, uh, tourism fairs that uh, will be um, uh, will be done, uh, and that will be uh, the place where we will promote Adrian Five Senses. Uh, then um, uh, we will also promote it through uh, farm trips. Uh, one of uh, of the examples was study visit that I was talking uh, earlier about. Uh, we will do that for um, travel trade, meaning tour operators, as well for the uh, media representatives. Uh, it was a very good example, uh, the, uh, that study visit that I mentioned, because a lot of tour operators uh, were very uh, satisfied with that program, and they saw that as a very good opportunity uh, for a, a new tourist offer and for enriched tourist offer. Uh, then another thing uh, will be incorporation in our um, website www.montenegro.travel. Uh, we are working uh, on our new website. We already have one, but we are working on a new one and we will uh, incorporate uh, all, uh, all uh, online uh, platforms uh, um, and application at virtual exhibition center to it, uh, especially because uh, we are working on new digital strategy as that will be a uh, new kind of strategies for destinations uh, due to this situation and due to, to um, all uh, other situation in tourism section, uh, meaning the development in that way. Uh, then uh, we will also uh, do, um, do uh, uh, emphasizing multi-sensory experiences uh, through traditional marketing communication tools, meaning other than fairs and the farm trips that I uh, mentioned uh, earlier. And then um, we will also build partnership with influencers and, and bloggers where, where we will promote Adrian Five Senses. Uh, then uh, we will uh, continuously do updating and maintaining of database of uh, um, multi-sensory web platform. Uh, we will always uh, uh, update it with new uh, new listings and uh, and new places to visit. Uh, also, uh, another important thing is that we will continuously work with the private sector in order to educate them uh, about Adrian Five Senses and uh, in order to enrich their offer. So these are main activities, of course, on our way to implement these activities, we will do another uh, ways of follow-up plan and uh, that would be it from me. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Milena, for your contribution. Uh, 
I would like to also thank you and the team of uh, National Green Organization for your support and your participation in the project. And uh, when you took again the lead on some activities, you delivered in a very high quality, more than expected, to be honest, uh, from uh, uh, during these times. Uh, thank you very, very much for your contribution. Uh, Andre, sorry, I want also to thank you. I didn't thank you because you were not part of this team, but okay, uh, you can transfer my thanks to Amy and the rest of the team in Albanian Development Fund. Of course, so we are very ha happy to have you and we will keep working, of course, in the other projects. Um, this concludes the follow-up plan and uh, we will move uh, quickly to the next session because we have a little delay. Uh, I would like to invite Mr. Jamalukas Costadinos. Um, he is uh, the uh, thematic cluster uh, leader, part of the Adrian Capitalization Strategy. Hello, Costas. Thank you Good for morning. being with us. The floor is yours. Uh, please. Thank you. Just... Thank you, Hector. Congratulations for uh, this event. I know it's uh, it's not easy to, to organize uh, a final event uh, during these days. But uh, we are all uh, running to, to catch up uh, the, the days and the, and the time. Uh, I will share my screen. Uh, and uh, uh, just a minute, because we have. Is it, can you, can you see my screen? It's a full screen now. Okay. So. On behalf of uh, the thematic uh, uh, cluster uh, number three, uh, which region first and Greece is the, themat the, the coordinator, I will uh, present you the, the main uh, outputs of uh, this cluster of the work that has been implemented uh, uh, the, the last year. In our cluster, uh, the projects which are uh, uh, participate which participate is in Oxenia project. Uh, Innovagro project, Aprodi, Adriatic uh, Caves, Adrio Five Senses, of course, uh, Smart Heritage, and uh, QNest uh, project. And uh, actually, now we are in the process of uh, uh, passing the floor uh, uh, to the second uh, generation of uh, this um, of this cluster with uh, the the new projects that have been uh, approved for funding from the second uh, call. Uh, the main objectives of our cluster is to promote synergies among the participating projects and the stakeholders uh, networks uh, in, in order to increase the transferability of the project results beyond the single project uh, sphere and uh, in, the, in the field of uh, sustainable tourism. More or less uh, all uh, clusters have the same uh, objectives is to create uh, uh, added value of uh, the project uh, by increasing synergies uh, to further develop uh, thematic analysis through the cross fertilization of uh, the projects and uh, the outputs of the projects and the combination of results outputs which has been implemented so far the identification of new areas and fields of uh, intervention for the future programming uh, period uh, to, to, to increase uh, project visibility, promoting them in a more strategic uh, way, and to increase transferability of project results beyond the single project uh, partnership. As a cluster, uh, we of course we implemented uh, the, uh, the mandatory activities. Uh, uh, we have implemented uh, our project meeting. We are updating the website the section of the website we participated at the Adrian uh, annual event but uh, we also selected to work on uh, three uh, um, optional activities according to the, the cluster strategy we organized uh, a week ago uh, one macro regional event and uh, also we organized uh, it was organized by a project and on uh, the beginning of October Innovago project organized uh, one joint uh, stakeholders uh, meeting. Uh, as a cluster and uh, in Oxenia project uh, more uh, detail, we are working on a joint uh, report. It's not a brochure, it's a report. And this is what we, I'm going to present you today mainly. And uh, also we are working on uh, to, to extend our uh, networks 
uh, Hector knows that we have already discussed on how to to integrate uh, the the platforms and the the, the networks that have been uh, uh, developed uh, through our projects in uh, uh, under uh, five senses uh, uh, platform. Uh, I will uh, speak in more detail about the, the cluster uh, report, uh, which uh, aims to present uh, the capitalizable outcomes of uh, our projects. Uh, uh, the focus is on uh, innovative uh, outcomes and the policy strategy outcomes. The methodology that we followed was to collect information uh, uh, with communication between the, the project, uh, project partners. Uh, then to create a classification of uh, this information and then to refine it in, uh, in a cluster meetings uh, between the project. The cluster innovative outcomes has been, uh, have been uh, classified uh, under three uh, categories. The product process innovation, the marketing innovation and the organizational governance innovation. So we collected uh, the, the best practices, the, the, not the, the, the main outputs of its uh, project and what uh, concerns the product uh, and process innovation. Audio Five Senses uh, um, has given to us the, the tourism experiences the, based on the uh, five senses, uh, the sensory classification that has been uh, presented in detail uh, today. Regarding the routes and, and the itineraries, uh, QNEST uh, project has developed uh, 32 uh, designed uh, 32 routes and uh, four transnational itineraries. Adriatic Caves uh, project uh, created the local and the international, the national within the, the area of uh, Adrian, of course, uh, route packages. And the Innovagro project uh, created a digital map with the uh, gastronomy destinations and uh, routes. At the same category, uh, outputs uh, were pro uh, produced regarding the tourism and culture management and uh, revitalization. A product project uh, worked on uh, pilot cases which were associated with ancient harbors in uh, the early medieval uh, harbor of uh, Torcello and the Lagoon Archaeological uh, Park in Nortona, creating uh, geoarchaeological uh, map and uh, training courses, in Dubrovnik with uh, underwater investigation, and uh, also with the creation of a uh, joint uh, map of uh, Adrian area, ancient maritime routes and cultural heritage. Regarding the marketing uh, innovation, uh, in, in terms of uh, branding, uh, QNEST uh, proposed the brand model on sustainable tourism quality. And of course, Adrian Five Senses uh, uh, proposed uh, and created and uh, proposed and created the brand sensory marketing and branding uh, sensory uh, destination. Also, we had some developments in augmented reality, virtual reality uh, area. Uh, Adriatic Caves created uh, an, uh, an application with virtual cave uh, visits. QNES project uh, created the virtual uh, access, developed the virtual access to cultural and uh, heritage with uh, 3D reconstructions. We had also cross marketing initiatives from uh, a product project uh, for the ancient uh, harbors. And also activities which were outputs which were related with awareness raising uh, uh, since Adriatic uh, Caves elaborated a study for attracting, uh, attracting interest on uh, caves. Regarding the organizational and uh, governance uh, innovation, Inoxenia project uh, created uh, the TIO, the Tourism Innovation Observatory, which is uh, equipped with uh, the uh, decision support system. We will have later on uh, the opportunity to, to present you this uh, output in more detail. Innovagro project uh, uh, developed a virtual transnational business innovation and uh, entrepreneurship uh, center, uh, which uh, su supports, uh, has uh, tools for a business incubator, in library, learning, and uh, in networking. 
Also, uh, an ecosystem uh, networking was uh, developed with uh, the Adriatic Ionian Tourism Technology Platform, which was developed by Inoxenia Project. The network of Innovagro uh, in more, um, uh, with having more focus in the agrofood uh, sector. And uh, also Kinest uh, with uh, the creation of a uh, network uh, related with uh, sustainability. The depending uh, work that has been done is to elaborate uh, this, uh, this output, these innovative uh, findings, uh, innovative work that has been done uh, with uh, policy recommendations, strategies and uh, action plans in order to, to propose and uh, a result to a more, um, uh, let's say, uh, feasible uh, measures in terms of uh, smart destinations and uh, product uh, diversification, to the enhanced uh, collaboration of, uh, for knowledge uh, transfer, to the environmental preservation, climate change mitigation, to the legal framework and standard harmonization, standards uh, harmonization. As an important aspect is uh, the staff education, the, the capacity, the increase of capacity of the stakeholders, and uh, also something also important, uh, the, the funding uh, attraction for uh, new investments in the um, tourism uh, area of, uh, of Adrian. Uh, there are things to do more uh, as uh, in Oxenia project and as a first uh, uh, phase of uh, this cluster, uh, we try to do our best. Uh, it was not easy, uh, but I think that now um, it's uh, it will be easier for the second call project since they are now starting to to work. They can uh, adjust their budget and their activities towards to to this uh, scope also to the to the cluster. And I think that I am sure that we will have uh, progress uh, on this uh, cluster uh, initiative. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Hector, for the invitation. And we will have the chance to present you later on the Inoxenia project. Thank uh, you. Kostas, thank you very much for uh, giving us some of your precious time uh, for our closing conference. And uh, also, I would like to thank you for being uh, the leader of this cluster in these very, very difficult times. Uh, as we all know, the capitalization uh, strategy started almost a year ago. Uh, it was a big uh, step for all projects to try and incorporate it, both uh, administratively, financially, but also operationally. Uh, since just when we were trying to find out how we we're going to move forward, the pandemic started and our plans uh, took a very weird turn. Um, thank you for being there as a lead, uh, leader of the cluster and supporting uh, all projects for uh, for the process and for keeping us on track uh, on this uh, on these tasks um, thank you thank you it was a good working with you uh, we will start now with the presentation of the guest projects uh, I'm uh, lucky I have the honor to be representing the um, smart heritage since uh, the development agency of Evia is the lead partner on that uh, it will be a very quick uh, presentation, I don't want to spend, um, uh, consume your time. So the Smart Heritage uh, Project, Sustainable Management and Promotion of Common Cultural Heritage. Uh, it's a project of the first uh, Adrian call. Um, the main purpose is promoting and protecting common cultural heritage in order to raise uh, touristic attractiveness of the project area. Uh, the scope is to generate a deeper awareness of the cultural heritage by applying and implementing multimedia ICT tools and uh, such as deemed valuable for project partners, countries, and the transnational Adrian program area. Um, we have five partners. Uh, it's the development agency of Evia, of course, uh, it, as a lead partner, the Albanian Development Fund, the University, the University of Mostar, um, uh, sorry, uh, and uh, who? The, and the municipalities uh, uh, of Gerase and uh, municipality. Uh, whoa, sorry, I'm very sorry. I just lost my slide here. Uh, Andrew, help me. Don't let me hanging. <laughs> uh, for Lee, for Lee. For Lee, of course. Oh my God. 
Yeah, you know, it, for Lee, it just left from my slip my mind because uh, it was the last good trip that we had this year before the lockdown. So I'm very sorry for the parties from for Lee. Uh, it was uh, it was the last uh, nice experience uh, before staying indoors for so long. Uh, so continue uh the expected results of the of the project is to raise awareness of the common heritage in the adron program area prolongation of the tourist season by empowerment of uh, cultural tourism strengthening long-time tourism planning and management system through development planning tools and increased human resources capacities and empowered potential of common cultural heritage to become a growth asset for uh tourism the main outputs, uh, the project went through several stages. Uh, we had to, to go through a restructure, let's say, of the project to, in order to, may, to uh, remain relevant and remain uh, uh, to have a positive uh, impact in the Adrian region. So we were happy to say that uh, the managing authority and, well, of course, the, the monitoring uh, committee of the Adrian program has approved uh, the proposed changes. So now our main output is uh, the phases of Europe uh, cultural route, where we focus on presenting um, uh, historical and fictional characters uh, and the personalities of the Adrian region and uh, through their stories presenting uh, our common heritage, uh, the common European elements, as well as all the associated uh, cultural heritage elements like uh, gastronomy, uh, um, architecture, uh, traditions, uh, the natural environment, the relations that we've built in this uh, region. We are also developing uh, five local uh, reg and uh, original action plans, uh, one sustainability plan. We will uh, digitalize uh, 1,000 cultural uh, heritage assets. We are creating uh, five innovative, unique culture to these products and one unified, of course, for the whole region. Uh, we are implementing one awareness campaign. Uh, unfortunately, was heavily uh, uh, affected by this uh, uh, pandemic. Um, uh, we are have established five uh, working groups for creative and innovative cultural tourism, and we have been uh, implementing or trying to implement due again through the pandemic uh, an extended capacity building uh, program for key stakeholders uh, of. Uh, the Adrian region on the uh, tourism uh, sector, uh, mostly focusing on uh, um, destination management organizations. Um, of course, we are part of the thematic cluster towards sustainability in cultural and natural tourism destinations. And we are happy that we are, let's say, the bridge project between the first generation and the second generation. And we have also offered a smart heritage to create a sub um, subsection in our platform to be created in the coming months uh, to host some of the activities and the outputs of the of the cluster. So we'll cre create some kind of a hub uh, for the cluster and the new projects as well as the uh, projects that are now completing uh, the run. Uh, thank you for uh, your time. I would like now to invite uh, representatives of the uh, Tangra project where Development Agency of EVA is again uh, a partner. Uh, Michele Romano, the floor is yours. Thank you very much for being here with us today and being able to uh, say a few words about uh, the project Tangram. Thank you, Hector. I want to introduce, uh, introduce myself. I'm uh, Michele Romano and I'm in charge to municipality of Monza for uh, project Tangram. At the first time, I would like to give to all of you the greetings from uh, Mr. Maffe. This is a councillor for European policies for municipality of Monza. And uh, he strongly belie believes in this project. Uh, this project, in fact, is a very good opportunity to develop a new partnership in uh, Adriana area in the field of promoting a sustainable uh, valorization and, and uh, integration into the tourism offer. And um, TANGRAM, the acronym is um, Transnational Parks and Gardens Resources in an Adriatic and Ionian Tourist Marketplace. The duration of the project is uh, 30 months. Is, uh, it is uh, started in uh, February 
and uh, it uh, end uh, in um, July 22. And uh, the main goal of the project is uh, be then the promote uh, Adrian brand name in tourism by promoting a sustainable valorization and uh, integration into the tourism offer. The parks as uh, either resources by an innovative governance system based on the collaboration between public and private. In fact, in this project, uh, we have uh, many um, uh, partners um, as uh, public uh, and, um, and private. Uh, the specific objective of the project is to develop a common understanding for the sustainable valorization and tourism destination, fostering the collaboration between uh, local and, and um, stakeholders as uh, private and public, and to enhance the tourism product of the Adrian target area through park sustainable uh, promotion. Um, we sorry for this mistake but i can do heed okay uh hector can you hear me yes yes tell me okay sorry okay um this is the partner uh, we are lead partner monza is a lead partner in the project uh, it it is uh, the first time that we um, we have this uh, role in a in a project because uh, in the past we participated into the project but but also like a um, partner not at lead and uh, we have um, and uh, we are 10 partners in the in the project public and um, and um, and uh, private um, from uh, we have a, a map uh, when you can see uh, the um, this location of the partner um, albania uh, we have a um, the University of Vlovera, um, Bosnia Herzegovina, uh, Serbia, uh, and many other countries that you can see. Uh, the, um, the key output of the project are uh, to build a transnational cooperation network, uh, to create a benchmarking strategy, uh, nine local action plan and uh, one um, Adrian transnational action plan in nine act, uh, pilot action. So uh, is, the, is a very um, uh, important uh, output that we, we, we try, uh, that we try to, to, to create. Um, uh, Tangram is part in this uh, um, capitalization cluster member, uh, is a um, thematic cluster towards sustainable and uh, cultural and natural tourism destination. Um, is a very short presentation, but uh, for me is uh, the first time that I, I explain uh, we are a lead partner and we are very glad to, to take part in this uh, project. And uh, so it, it's all to my, to my side. Thank you very much, Michaela. Don't worry. Uh, we have the time to present again and again our project. Now it's just <laughs> starting. Uh, Targram, it's uh, just now starting its implementation. Uh, we will have this uh, trip together uh, through the Adrian region. Hopefully, we will manage to have actual trips, <laughs> and, and we can have a proper kickoff meeting. You know, and yes, all, yes, all, we are, we 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 hope so because uh, this pandemic situation don't help uh, to to work very very well, and so we hope to resolve um, 
this uh, this problem uh, soon. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, thank you very much for your time and your contribution. Uh, we will be in touch, of course, uh, both as partners but also as uh, other five senses. Uh, project. Thank you very much. Thank you, too. Uh, move to the next guest, the Innovagro project, and uh, Miss uh, Irene Sileli. Welcome. Thank you for being here today with us. Uh, hello to everyone. Hello, Hector. I would like to thank you to invite us to, pro to present our project, and congratulations for the very well-organized event. Uh, I would like to share my uh, presentation. Hector, do you hear me? Yes. Uh, okay. Can you see my presentation? We can see it. Yes, just put it in full screen and okay, we are perfect. Thank you. thank you. Thank you very much. I'm an expert. I work for the, I'm an expert of the lead partner of Innovagro project, Hania Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Also, our project is a, mem is a member of the thematic cluster uh, number three of the Adrian program. Um, here is our partnership. It consisted of partners from five countries, from Greece, Italy, Albania, Serbia, and Slovenia. And also, uh, it contains uh, the necessary diversity of partners in order to achieve the project objectives. So there are three business support organizations, three research institutes, two regional authorities, one network, and one agricultural confederation. The project objective is the development of innovative network for the promotion and extroversion of agro-food in Adriatic Ionian area. Uh, the Innovagro project focuses on strengthening the links and synergies among uh, farmer tourism enterprises, SMEs, research institutes of um, regional authorities and NGOs for the promotion of agro-food extroversion, enhancement of agro-food internationalization, and promotion of environmentally fair, uh, friendly farming practices. Uh, the Transnational Cooperation Network is the first of our project outputs. Uh, and the second is the innovative uh, virtual transnational business support uh, internet entrepreneurship center, VPA. I will present you uh, firstly the first uh, output, the Innovagro Network. Uh, this network links farmers, agro food companies. Uh, also, uh, general uh, tourist companies, higher education institutes, relevant authorities, and also uh, cooperation organization to provide to SMEs innovative services in the field of marketing and management in order to increase their extroversion and internationalization level. This mem the members of the Innovagro network can be chambers. Association of SMEs, higher education institutes, research institutes, agricultural association, local, regional, national authorities, development agencies, existing clusters and networks in agro, food and tourism sector, NGOs, gourmet and gastronomy association, and other body relevant to the aims of the network. The key elements of this network is that involve stakeholders in the logic of Caldrapple model. Involve existing uh, local, regional, national network and clusters in order to cap and capitalize existing good practices and link agro-food sector directly with tourism sector and consumers. The second uh, innovative uh, uh, pro uh, many output out project is the VBA is a platform that offers support to SMEs. Here you can see the structure of uh, the VBA. There are, uh, oh, as you can see, there are five modules. The first module is the e-library. There, uh, there are policies for agro-food clusters, 
studies related to agrofood sector, laws, regulation for export and, and imports, etc. In the second module is the e-networking module, where there is an online, uh, online forum and also information about exhibitions and agrofood clusters. The third module is the e-learning, where uh, there is a list of 50 topics re related to agrofood sector. The fourth uh, module is the e-business uh, tool, where the register SME can use the very interesting tools as the self-assessment tools, financial tools, and business tools. As an example, the, they can use SWOT and pest analysis, business plan, uh, export price calculator, etc. And finally, there is the incubator module, uh, where an agrofood company can present an idea and uh, ask uh, feedback from mentors that are already registered in the platform. More information about our project there is in the website of the project. Also, there is a video spot on YouTube. Here is the link of the VBX platform that is available for everybody to be registered. Thank you very much. Dear Rini, uh, thank you for uh, your participation in presenting the Innovagro project. Uh, it, uh, we invite everyone to also check your uh, website and platform and uh, find opportunities uh, if it's related to their uh, work. Uh, thank you for having the time to present and participate in our closing conference. I would like to invite uh, the Inoxenia project uh, again to present uh, i don't know it will be costas i think who will uh yes yes costas uh the floor is yours for uh, the inoxenia project miss sileli we have to stop sharing oh. yes <laughs> okay thank you it's okay okay let me share my screen Here we are. I will try to be as brief as it gets since the time has passed. In Oxenia project, innovation in tourism in the Adriatic Ionian uh, uh, macro region. Uh, nine partners uh, out of uh, six uh, Adrian countries. Uh, Albanian Development Fund is one. Uh, is participating also in, uh, in our project in Oxenia, not only in uh, Adrian uh, Five Senses. Uh, the general project uh, idea is to, to improve the innovation capability of uh, Adrian tourism sector, which relies, in heavily, relies heavily on uh, innovative products, processes and services that can be sub act as supplement to the natural and cultural offerings of uh, this area. Uh, uh, we created is the, is, the crea is the creation of networks of uh, with uh, participants uh, out of the Quadrap Helix uh, tourism community. We will see in uh, the next slides what we mean, and to develop uh, an Adriatic Ionian tourism technology platform. Uh, the Quadrap Helix and the the, the stakeholders that uh, uh, which were involved in our uh, project was uh, local and uh, public authorities, regional public authorities, social uh, groups, uh, higher, higher education and research institutions, small and medium enterprises, uh, business support organizations like and uh, sectoral agencies. Uh, as you can see, uh, our uh, approach is uh, uh, strictly related with uh, the smart specialization uh, strategy. Uh, the S3 strategy, uh, and uh, we, we worked towards uh, uh, this, uh, this approach. The, the first of the three main uh, uh, outputs of our project is uh, was the development of the Tourist Innovation Observatory, which was a framework of uh, an effort to, to enable uh, the regional tourism innovation uh, system of uh, the area. 
the, the keyword of uh, this effort is uh, the big data uh, in, and we try to, to concentrate uh, in a single database uh, the, this information which was uh, collected out of uh, tourism data like destination and tourism industry and flow um, uh, data from uh, web data. We collected also best practices. We used uh, surveys and the, the next tour uh, initiative. Uh, we used also uh, the sustainability indicators from uh, ETIS. And uh, also we conducted surveys uh, regarding the innovation and the, the sustainability. Uh, the, um, the, the objective of uh, this observatory is to, to create uh, the structure for consultation and benchmarking at streams and uh, destination uh, level in order to be able to, to compare uh, the, the innovation sustainability and the relationships among uh, these uh, two factors. And also it, uh, it tends to uh, help the, the governance uh, of uh, the, the tourism uh, sector. We created uh, the data entry interface, uh, which allows policy makers, uh, destination management organizations, and uh, final users to upload uh, uh, data in, uh, in this uh, platform. Uh, as all uh, observatories, the richer the quality and the quantity uh, of, uh, of the system, uh, the more accurate and uh, the, the best marking and the gap analysis on sustainability and innovation uh, uh, will be. One uh, major challenge was to, to promote open data in the tourism sector and uh, this was one of, uh, of the main barriers that we, we had to deal with because there are no uh, open data, they are no, they are, there is a lack of uh, data available in our sector. Uh, the, the second uh, module of uh, our uh, platform is the Tourism Innovation Decision Support System, which use, uh, it's, it's the main tool of the Tourism Innovation Observatory. It is published in uh, the URL that you can see in, in Oxenia.eu and uh, supports uh, data-driven decision making through area statistics, benchmarking, best practice and best practice uh, suggestions. Uh, the Tourism Innovation Observatory allows a number of analyses of uh, in the level of uh, single films and uh, destinations uh, as well, uh, and uh, uh, gives the, the option, the, the, the functionality to check uh, the positioning in terms of uh, rating, uh, pricing, and uh, some other uh, main uh, um, uh, major uh, indicators. Uh, the enterprise performance uh, positioning uh, is, uh, is another functionality. We can uh, create benchmarking of uh, single films in respect to the average behavior of the whole set of uh, films in the destination. Uh, we selected a number of uh, uh, pilot uh, areas. Uh, I will uh, point once again that we had the, the, the main issue was to, to, to collect and feed, collect data and feed, feed our uh, system. And this is a challenge uh, probably for the next uh, period. Uh, we also incorporated the algorithm, uh, alg algorithms to, to conduct um, enterprise scenarios and uh, in-depth analysis on uh, possible relationship between pricing and innovation, innovation and uh, rating. And uh, it is, uh, this system is open to be enhanced with uh, a more uh, additional uh, scenarios. The, the third uh, main uh, output of uh, Inoxenia project is the strategic Z down innovation in uh, tourism. There is a document uh, which uh, um, we collect, we created the document with uh, a main uh, aiming to, to address the main topic uh, and the main issues of uh, uh, Adrian uh, tourism which were the challenges and the vision of uh, tourism uh, in the Adrian area. The strategic domains and the innovation trends in uh, uh, macro-regional 
and uh, global uh, level as well. We identified the strengths and the potential uh, of the of the area. We conducted the SWOT analysis uh, in the in the pilot uh, areas that we selected to work on, and we implemented an action plan for uh, product product uh, diversification and uh, smartest destination for more promotion. The enhanced collaboration for uh, knowledge transfer, the environmental preservation and climate change uh, migration mitigation, this uh, type here. Uh, the, uh, we also worked on the legal framework and standards uh, harmonization in a level of uh, Adrian uh, always. Uh, the stakeholders in staff education, the capacity building uh, in, uh, in this uh, sector, and uh, the investment and funding uh, attraction. This, uh, some, uh, some aspects were also mentioned in, uh, in the cluster uh, uh, objectives. And all this, uh, the, this uh, work is available at the, the project uh, website. Uh, some statistics about uh, the strategic agenda and the findings of, uh, of this work. Uh, uh, it was built out uh, from the Adrian Tourism Technology Platform. As we can see, the participants, uh, uh, we had uh, uh, about 50% uh, participants uh, which were uh, small and medium uh, enterprises. And also the public authorities also contributed in, uh, in this effort. Uh, we exploited the Quadrant Helix community and we created the covenant uh, with uh, this participant. We implemented the Inoxenia Cafes, 26 uh, meetings uh, involving the, the Adriatic Oriented uh, tourism technology platform. Uh, we created, we implemented events for local consensus uh, building and also uh, workshops uh, for capacity building uh, towards uh, the policy and the stakeholders. Starting from the European Union, we identified the, the challenges, the priorities and the policies that has been set in the uh, EU level. We also took into account the EU strategy for the Adriatic and the Ionian uh, region. And we think the document of the um, strategic agenda will result into uh, uh, these four main uh, recommendations, uh, which are to, to, uh, the effort to maintain the natural uh, environment, uh, to the need for uh, the establishment of communication and collaboration uh, platforms, to the need for removal of uh, administrative barriers and the, um, the setup of uh, innovation financing uh, mechanism. The overall uh, um, scope of our effort, uh, which is also aligned with uh, the, the program result indicator, is uh, uh, to improve the level of capacity of key innovation actors which will be effectively involved in transnational actions for the development of uh, regional innovation systems system with focus to, to the tourism and uh, the sustainability of, uh, of uh, Adrian area. This, is, uh, this was the work that we implemented within uh, the last two years. Uh, for any questions, uh, for anything you, you wish, we are at your disposal. Once again, thank you, Hector, for uh, this event and the invitation uh, and the opportunity you gave us to participate in this project, in this uh, closing event. Dear Costas, thank you very much for being here and uh, presenting the very interesting Oxenia project. Uh, I think this is how we demonstrate actual uh, collaboration among projects and uh, actual partnerships. And I think this is a step forward for further collaboration in the new programming period uh, amongst projects, amongst uh, different stakeholders and partners across the Adrian region. Uh, with this uh, last contribution, we conclude the synergies uh, section of our uh, closing conference. Um, we have reached uh, the end of uh, the proceedings of the closing conference of Adrian Five Senses project. Um, I don't know if someone wants to ask or contribute something. Uh, we have three minutes in our time if we want to keep the schedule. If anyone wants to contribute or ask maybe something.
No, that's even better, I think. It means that we have done everything correctly. We have explained in detail what we have been doing. Um, thank you all again for being here today and uh, uh, helping uh, uh, us conclude uh, the proceedings. Thank you for contributions. Uh, thank you for your time. Um, we, the family of Adrian Five Senses Project, would like uh, to say thanks to the JS and uh, for their support all this time, all these uh, years. Uh, also, would like to thank our uh, stakeholders who got involved in the, pro uh, the procedures of the project. Of course, their contributions uh, with information participation was uh, available. Uh, we are looking forward to uh, finalizing all last details, especially some. Uh, um elements of our of our final uh, outcomes like the exhibition centers in the coming months and uh, we really hope to be able to see you all very soon in a physical form maybe in the next Adrian event or a, a steering committee meeting of another project or any other uh, happy occasion thank you all for your contribution so far thank you for attending today's conference uh a big thank you from my side. If you would like, please open your cameras so we can have a last picture to get all together. Uh, finally, see some smiles all around uh, the Adrian regions uh, because this was meant to be a celebration, you know. Uh, this was meant to be a celebration, uh, a gathering of our, all partners. Uh, this was meant to be our uh, uh, opportunity for some uh, time get together and time off and exploring and uh, tasting maybe in the region of Epirus. Unfortunately, we have to do it through screens, uh, but um, we will do it. We will manage it at some point. We will manage it. Thank you all for being here today and for being part of this project. Goodbye from Greece, Athens. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Hector. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Bye. bye all thank you thank you bye 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 bye, bye. 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 bye.